Oh my God, this school is so lame. We should all just get up and leave. We can't leave, Donald. We'll get grounded forever. Shut up, Joe. Just let me complain and be miserable in peace. This class isn't even that bad, Donald. It's literally super easy. Are you actually serious? This class blows. All we ever do is homework packets while the teacher plays RuneScape. And also, where the hell even is he? How can we get punished for being late when our very own teacher can't even be here on time? Have you guys heard of the 15 minute rule? Huh? What's the 15 minute rule? Well, I'm not sure if this is true, but I heard about it at my old school. I guess there's a law that if the teacher doesn't show up within 15 minutes of class starting, all of the students are allowed to leave. What? No way! That's fucking awesome! So as long as the teacher doesn't come within the next 10 minutes, we can just leave? Hang on, we don't know that for sure. George even said that he doesn't know if it's true. It must be true. They don't expect us to actually sit in this boring-ass classroom for the entire period unless they are cramming useless information down our fat faces. Well, hang on, Donald. Maybe we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. Don't worry, guys. We are gonna leave this fucking classroom. Just nine more minutes and freedom will be ours. Don't get your hopes up, Donald. The teacher will probably come through any minute now. Yeah, I just thought it was interesting. I've never actually had a teacher be 15 minutes late before. Oh well, at least we get a shorter class period. Don't worry, guys. The law is on our side. As long as we make sure that the teacher doesn't step into the classroom for nine more minutes, we will be home free. Yeah, and how exactly do we do that? I got this. I'm gonna pretend to go use the restroom and I'll try and distract the teacher so he never comes to class. Yikes! Maybe that McDonald's breakfast meal with four extra hash browns and a large chocolate milkshake was a mistake. Oh my, it looks like someone might be lost. Oh God, what do you want, loser? Don't you have anywhere better to be instead of lurking around the middle school? For your information, the new principal has made me a supreme hall monitor. I am the eyes and ears of this school. Nothing and no one passes through my line of perception. And for some reason, I have a feeling that you are up to no good. Why are you not in class, young man? Screw off, Ben. I was just taking a shit. It's too bad I flushed already. It looked exactly like you, so you probably wanted to make out with it. My title and consciousness has long elevated past your immature sense of humor. There is no student across the entire district that matches up to my brilliant record of stellar academic achievement. You are nothing but an ignorant loser buffoon who is just barely scraping by with exactly the credits he needs to make it through middle school. Unlike me, you are still enslaved by the education system. Yeah, guess what? I wasn't even listening to that essay you just recited to me. No one cares about how cool or smart you think you are. Now get out of my way. I have a date with your mom tonight and your Dark Temptation Axe Body Spray is starting to seep onto my clothes. You should watch your step and your words very closely. I have achieved all of the credits I need to graduate, which has freed up the last few years of my high school career. With my reputation as the coolest and best kid in the school district, along with being king of the high school, mixed with my wide open schedule, I have everything I need to make your life a living hell. One day soon, you will be forced under my control and bound to listen to every command I give you. You're a fucking loser. And please back away three steps. I can smell the soy latte you had this morning in your nasty ass breath. Boys, what's going on here? I'm hearing a lot of loud voices. Oh, Mr. Zuck, how wonderful of you to bless us with your presence. Oh my God, Ben, can you even go five minutes without sucking the faculty's dick? Hey now, that's not a very nice thing to say, Donald. And what are you doing out here in the halls? Shouldn't you be in my classroom right now? Yeah, well, what about you? We are all waiting for you. It's been about 15 minutes since class started. That means I'm legally allowed to leave. Just because I am late doesn't mean that the rules no longer apply to you, young man. You are to wait in my class until I arrive. Mr. Zuck, might I suggest joining my path? I was just about to take this naughty evil child to the principal's office to level him out. Oh, thank you, Ben. You are doing a fantastic job at being a stellar role model. But that won't be necessary. I got caught up in the teacher's lounge, leveling my woodcutting skill. I'll just take Donald with me and head to class. Ha! Loser, take the L! That's enough, Donald. But, but sir, Donald must be punished. I have taken the liberty of memorizing the entire student handbook, and I can tell you off the top of my head that Donald is actively breaking approximately five rules right now, as we speak. Oh my god, what a massive loser. I got it under control, Ben. <coughs> loser. <coughs> Sir, with all due respect, I don't think the principal would take kindly to this loose hand of authority. Tell you what, Ben. Today in English class, we are starting our book writing project. 
I just remembered that you wrote the best middle school book in the state a few years ago when you were in my class. Would you like to come down to the class with us and help out? I would be honored to help Mr. Zuck. Good going. He's totally not going to let that go to his head. Well, so much for that idea. This is bullshit. Now this class is infested with Ben. George's stupid ass plan backfired. My plan? This was entirely your idea. Seriously, and you should be grateful that your dumb ass didn't get in trouble. Good morning, class. Good, Good morning, morning, Mr. Good morning, Mr. Fuck. Okay, class, today we are starting our book writing project. You guys are all going to write your very own book, and the winner for the best book will get to have their book professionally published, and will get 100 copies to sell to their friends and families. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? That wasn't boring and robotic enough. Quiet, Donald. I'm gonna need you to take this book project seriously. It counts for half of your grade. Oh my god, that sounds so fucking boring. Can you just give us a packet like usual so I can just cheat off Obamna and you can waste the rest of the period playing RuneScape? There shall be no talking while the teacher is talking. Believe me, Donald. There's nothing I would love more than to hand you guys a packet and temporarily escape from my life and responsibilities in the amazing world of RuneScape. But alas, this project is on the curriculum, so sit down and shut your ass up. Now I'm going to need everyone to find a partner. Obamna, Obamna, be my partner. You just want to be my partner so you can copy off of me. Yeah, it's my turn to be with Obamna. You got to partner with him for that science project. Hey, what about me? Who wants to be my partner? Oh my god, please, Obama, be my partner. I snuck in my DS and I'm dying to play my new Pokemon game. Oh, for fuck's sake. Dude, I have a C in this class and I can't get my Xbox back until I'm pulling at least a B. I need Obama. Hey, I can be someone's partner. I have a ton of cool book ideas. Shut up, Joe. Obama, please. I can't be stuck with Joe again. I was with him for that history project. He brought in a Lego Star Wars set to represent the Battle of Normandy. Okay, so this paper says we have to recreate the Battle of Normandy using these plastic army men. It also says we can use cardboard and newspaper to build the land. It also says we need to write an essay about the battle and the scene that we make. Do you know what the Battle of Normandy is? I forget. God fucking damn it. Yeah, uh, I have no idea. Just look on Wikipedia. The teacher said we can't use Wikipedia as a source. Can you come and help me? Dude, I'm busy. Just use Wikipedia. He won't notice. You're supposed to be helping me. You said you would. I'm here for moral support, Joe, and I brought the honey buns. That means that you're supposed to do the rest. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You'll figure it out, buddy. Hang in there. I might help you out for a few minutes here and there in between games. That is absolute bullshit! You're a fucking camper! Ha ha! Stay mad, loser! This is what I did to your mom last night. Fuck you, asshole. You're probably seven years old. You literally sound like a ten-year-old. Also, you're gay. And your mom's gay. And I have your IP. Nice try, asshole. I'm actually 15 years old. What? That's not true. You're only 13. Joe, shut the hell up. I am the god of roasting in Xbox Live parties. I'm gonna invite this guy to a party and verbally obliterate him and challenge him to a 1v1. From there, I'll either win and carry this massive dub, or I'll lose and claim that he's hacking and has a lag switch. It's about to get super heated. But either way, once I'm in the match, I will have to go on hyper-focus mode to get revenge on this little shit talker. Just figure it out, and don't bother me, otherwise you'll mess me up. What a fucking asshole. That's because you refused to help me. The whole time I was trying to make the project, you were playing Black Ops. Yeah. Maybe if you actually helped when it came to group projects, I would be more inclined to be your partner. Wow, Mr. Zuck. They seem to be taking a long time. Perhaps it would be more efficient if you allowed me to choose the partners. Yeah, I guess you're right. We only have like 20 minutes left, so let's do it. Attention class! We only got about 20 minutes left, so I'm just gonna let Ben choose the partners. Are you shitting me right now? This is bullshit! Shut it, Donald. Ben knows what he's doing. Back in his day when he was a middle schooler in my class, he won the award for the best middle school book in the state! That's right, the autobiography I wrote was absolutely adored by teachers and parents. It sold so many copies. Parents and teachers just love reading books about good and well-behaved smart students. This book has it all. Indeed, it was an amazing read. I really loved the part about how you were super smart and amazing. 
which was the whole book. Have you thought about selling it at the school book fair? Hey, that's a great idea. Maybe I should set up a booth at the Scholastic Book Fair for my amazing book, The Ballad of Ben. No one cares about your lame-ass book. I would rather read Dork Diaries before reading your pathetic, boring Ben book. We will see. Tonight at the Scholastic Book Fair, I will set up a table selling my glorious collection of books. Why would anyone buy that? You're literally competing with the likes of Harry Potter, Captain Underpants, and SpongeBob. Yeah, I want to go and buy the new Guinness World Records book. I'm finally going to get the newest Big Nate books, along with some new Goosebump novels. I personally cannot wait to finally get my grimy little hands on the newest Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And I also look forward to adding a new Bone comic book to my collection. I want to get some new Lego books and a new pencil case. And I also want to get an I Spy book. I was browsing through the Scholastic Book Fair pamphlet and saw that they even have some Game Boy and DS games this year. I want to get some of those. They also have these books that are full of cheat codes for Xbox and PS3 games. I'm also going to get that if my dad gives me enough money. I think we can all conclude that the options at the annual Scholastic Book Fair are vast and endless. And to be honest with you, I think I would read a boring chapter book with no pictures in it before picking up Ben's gay book. Just you wait, I will completely sell out my amazing books. And this actually works out perfectly since I took the liberty of updating the book just a few months ago. I have several copies of my brand new and updated autobiography, The Ballad of Ben, ready to be sold at a moment's notice. Boring, lame, cringe, and also no one asked. Donald, we are rapidly running out of time and we still have to partner you guys up and I have to hand out the rubric. Can you please sit down and shut up? Yes, listen to your superiors. You are an unruly prisoner who refuses to be consumed by the might of the education system. Perhaps it is finally time to call down the new principal to shut him up. Fuck off, Ben. No one wants to read a book about the life of a narcissistic, insufferable asshole. God damn it, Donald. You couldn't just sit down and shut up. Now I have to call the principal down here and this has to turn into a whole ordeal. Whether it was fate or perfect timing, no one knows. A school board that was once so desperate to find a principal could now feel safe with a familiar face. It is a miracle indeed. When the school is most in need of a new leader, you have returned after so many years. We are so very sorry that we had to interrupt your busy morning. However, we have a very unruly student in the classroom. Sit. I, uh... Your desk. Sit now. Um, yes, sir. Well? Yes, uh, perhaps you may not be familiar with me, but I am Ben. I am the king of the high school, just like you back in your time. Ah, looks like he doesn't give a shit. There he is. He's the troublemaker. He keeps interrupting the class. Why did you call me down here? So that he can be punished. He is naughty. Oh my god, I don't think that guy has anything going on up there. He's an old man. Quiet, Donald. You do not speak to him that way. Here. What the hell is this? This guy is fucking nuts. This child is disobedient. He's not special nor worthy of being addressed directly. Hear my command. He will stay after class and use this toothbrush to clean the floor. What? That's completely insane. Ha! That's awesome. I might have to watch. I am disturbed by your lack of command and leadership. You must be cleansed. Once he is finished, I will witness you take the toothbrush and cleanse yourself. What? But sir, you can't do this. Consider it punishment for wasting my time. Tidings. Holy crap, that shit sucked. What did I miss in gym class? We played dodgeball. God damn it, I missed dodgeball? Of course! 
Don't worry, Donald. You didn't miss anything. It was just Vlad and his friends pummeling me the whole time. I love dodgeball. It's my favorite. Of course, the one day a week we play dodgeball is the day I have to clean the entire classroom with a toothbrush. Oh, hold on, guys. It looks like my girlfriend is calling me. Oh, no way. You're still dating her? Man, I wish I had a girlfriend. Hang on, guys. I got to take this call. I can't believe George has a girlfriend. Do you think they kissed yet? Joe, that's weird. That's none of our business. Well, uh, what do you think, Donald? Ugh, gross. Congratulations. Your cleansing is complete. I don't understand. Why did you make me do this? I'm the coolest and most popular kid in the school district, just like you were back in your time. I demand to know the reasoning for the blatant disrespect. Well, speak up. I did what you asked of me. Although everyone else may know you, you must truly impress me. If I am to recognize you as the king of the high school. Wow. I heard that entire conversation. I must say it was quite pathetic. Screw off, Simon. You shall not question your master. My master? Please, who do you think you are talking to? You have a long way to go before you can live up to Ping's legacy. Hardly anyone truly recognizes you as the king. I don't have time for this, Simon. Yes, I know. I heard about your little plan to sell your autobiography tonight. You don't think anyone will actually purchase it, do you? I will sell out. Just you wait. Everyone wants a copy of my new and updated autobiography, The Ballad of Ben. There will be lines out the door. I've already talked to six different teachers who said they're going to come buy it tonight. You are just jealous that I am the king of the school, and you are just a shadow in my amazing light. My name is on the tip of every student and faculty's tongue, and you can't handle the fact that I am getting all of the love and attention that you so crave. Might I remind you that I have the highest body count Just in the high school? Just because you have the highest body count in the high school doesn't mean shit. Everyone has already forgotten about this achievement that you hold so dearly. My popularity and power is cemented from years and years of repeated stellar achievement. You are beneath me, and you are mine to command. Are you guys going to the book fair tonight? I'm super excited. Totally. I just wish they didn't let cringy asshole high schoolers like Ben in. Dude, if you would have just stayed in the classroom, Ben would have never found out about the book fair. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Will someone trade me for this cheese and crackers Lunchable? Gross. No one wants that garbage. People only fuck with the pizza Lunchables. Gross. The pizza ones are so overrated. What? The pizza ones are the best. Hell no. The cheese and cracker ones are the only good ones. The pizza ones are bland in comparison. That's crazy. Everyone knows that the pizza ones are the best because you get to pretend to be a pizza chef and make a ton of pizzas. And also you can drink the sauce once you're done. I'll give you my veggie straws for the Lunchable. Gross, you brought veggie straws? Wow, Andrew, you managed to bring literally the worst possible chip imaginable. Why not just go to the recycling bin if your goal is to eat small strips of flavorless cardboard? I'm gonna have to disagree. Veggie straws are super underrated, especially the red ones. I don't want veggie straws. Does anyone have anything sweet? How about this Pocky? You got Pocky? Whoa, what? Wow, Joe, that is insane value. Kim, that is borderline stupid. In what world is a box of Pocky sticks equal to the shittiest Lunchable on the market? This is the best Lunchable that money can buy. And also it comes with a crunch bar. I think this is a perfectly equal trade. I'll take it. No way, look over there, Obama. It's Sarah. Huh? Dude, you should totally go talk to her. Yeah, go talk to Sarah. What? Why me? Oh, come on, Obamna. It's totally obvious that you have a crush on her. Yeah, seriously. I saw you in music class. You couldn't keep your eyes off her. Nonsense. I don't have a crush on her. Seriously? It's not a secret, dude. Yeah, come on, Obamna. Go talk to her. <sighs> okay, fine. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Um, hey, Sarah. Oh, hey, what's up? Um, hey, uh, what's up? You know, just standing in the lunch line.
Sarah, will you marry me? Oh my goodness, of course, Obama, of course. I now pronounce you husband and wife. I don't know, Obama. Are we really ready for this? Are you sure that your winnings from being a pro race car driver will be enough? Don't worry, Sarah. My race car winnings, along with my profits from being an astronaut for NASA, should be enough. I love you so much, Obama. I love you too, Sarah. <laughs> Congratulations. It's a beautiful, healthy baby boy. Hello, Obama. Obama. Huh? What? I think you zoned out or something. Uh. Holy crap, my knees are trembling. I'm so nervous. So did you need something? Why are you here? Come on, Obama, you can do this. Just say something. Obama? Oh man, I have to say something. I can't just stand here forever. Um, Obama, you're kind of starting to weird me out. Okay, okay, I just have to go for it. Here goes nothing. Um, hey, I think you're really pretty. Huh? Uh, maybe I'll see you at the book fair. Gotta go, bye. So, how'd it go? Did you get her number? Um, no, I didn't. Dude, what's wrong with you? Why is your face so red? You're sweating like a pig. You okay, bro? Did something happen? Well, uh, I called her pretty. Ha! No way. Are you being for real? Yeah, I called her pretty, and I guess I might see her at the book fair. That's oh, yeah. awesome! Yeah, I can't wait. Going. Of course, Ben! Huh? I would absolutely love to buy your book! That's great to hear. I'm selling it tonight at the school book fair. Oh, yeah, that's right! I totally forgot that you won the award for the best damn book that a middle schooler has ever written! You must have hundreds of copies to sell! Indeed I do. And of course, I made sure to update them so it even includes my high school years now. Wow! This is like the biggest release of the century! You should also make posters! Ooh! I can go to Giant Eagle and get a cake with your face on it! Hey! Do you think I could get mine autographed? I hope you included your high school report cards too, along with the middle school ones. Oh, and that one time that you won the spelling bee. You honor me. Ha! Sorry about that. I'm just so god dang excited. In my 30 years of working at this school, I've never met a student with quite a track record like yours. It's stunning. Well, looks like the shipment is here. Why don't you let me take care of it? You can go and get the principal. Sounds good, Ben. I'll see you later. I'll be first in line at your book stand. I'll bring a Sharpie so that you can autograph my copy. Also, can you autograph my kid's birth certificate? Haha. <laughs> Sounds good, sir. That must be it. That must be the shipment for his books. Hello? Oh, certainly. I'll be there right away. Sorry, sir. Can I help you? What? Oh, that won't be necessary. I just need the damn principal to sign this form. Uh, yes. So actually, the principal sent me to take care of this delivery. What? Yeah, that's not gonna work, bud. You're just a kid. This is my first day on the job. I'm not gonna fuck it up. You're pardoned for the confusion, but I am actually a high schooler. I am also one of the more well-adjusted ones, as I am here at the middle school to help out and be a role model and such. Um, that's great and all, but I don't give a shit. Get your damn principal so he can sign this fucking paper and I can end my shift. Well, that's the point. The principal doesn't know anything about this shipment. He sent me to investigate it. Investigate what? These are just books for the book fair. I knew it. Ah. Yes. Well, actually, we had this book shipment already, so you must be at the wrong school. What? You already got your shipment? How can that be? This is fucking North Middle School. My son goes here. There's literally a truck of vendors coming in an hour. This is indeed North Middle School, but we already received our shipment. And our, uh, workers. Perhaps this is meant for South Middle School? It's another school nearby, and the post office commonly mixes up packages. God damn it, fine, whatever, I'll try it out. I'm so fucking tired of the bullshit all the damn time. If this ain't for South Middle School, then no one's getting it.
I got a plastic tub filled with dollar store wine waiting at home. I got better shit to do than this. Looks like that little rat's box won't be making it to the book fair after all. Um, hey, Sarah. Oh, uh, hey. So, uh, you excited for the book fair? Oh, what's that? Um, yeah, totally. He <laughs> he. <laughs> um, would it be okay if, uh, if we, um, if we waited in line together? Sure, Obama, I'd like that. Great. God damn it, this is bullshit. I knew my dad waited too long. They're gonna run out of copies of the new diary of a wimpy kid. Chill out, bro. It'll be fine. There's not that many people ahead of us. What about the new Guinness World Records? You think there will be any left? Who knows, Joe? We might be screwed. Dude, calm down. You guys are naming the most popular books. They probably have a ton of them. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. Well, what about those I Spy books you wanted? They usually don't order very many of those. Crap, crap. What if he's right? Dude, why the hell are you scaring him? Because I think we should find a way to get ahead in line before it opens. I'm so excited, Mommy. Can I get the new Dork Diaries? Of course, sweetie pie. Ooh, look at this poster. It looks like that one high schooler wrote a book about himself. I might have to check that out. Yeah! So, uh, sorry to interrupt your little moment, but I've been camping out here since 2.30. You can bet your sorry ass that no one is getting to Ben's book booth before me. Holy crap, I guess early wasn't early enough. Wow, there's so many people. There must be a heck of a selection this year. Seriously, I can't wait to finally get that Magic School Bus computer game that I missed out on last year. How much money did you bring? I got $40 to spend and it's all going towards new Pokemon books. Now I can finally catch those few remaining Pokemon that I couldn't find. Wow, $40, that's insane. I only got 15, but the game is only 10. So I have five to browse around with. Holy crap, we are so close. The doors will open in just a few minutes. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. This is way bigger than my old school. I bet there's gonna be so many options. Do you think they will have any Dora books? Not for me, but for my little cousin. Shut up, Joe. We all know you play that Dora DS game. They're not gonna have that, bro. Yeah, you'll have to go to the elementary school if you want little kid books, you dummy. Whatever. As long as they have I Spy books, I'll be happy. Oh, you like I Spy? It's a classic. I spy with my little eye. Three pathetic losers who haven't even had their first kiss yet. Ooh, yes. Feel the embers of that one. Nice try, but I actually did have my first kiss. I have a girlfriend. Hey, shut up. I'm only 12 years old. I looked it up online, and the average age for getting your first kiss is 15. I'm right on par. Um, right. I see you've done your research. It's too bad you lack the self-awareness to realize how pathetic you look. He looks pathetic. I'm sorry, which one of us is the fucking high schooler picking on a bunch of middle schoolers? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I picking on you? Are your feelings hurt? Maybe a little kiss would help. Does that sound nice, Donald? You would like that, wouldn't you? Just leave us alone, Simon. You're technically cutting in line. And you, George, are technically lying about your girlfriend from South Middle School. What? Huh? No way! That's right. Did you forget that I have the highest body count in the high school? I've dated many girls from South Middle School, and none of them knew anything about a Linda Cobblewood. Yeah? Well, uh, that's probably because she's introverted. She only talks to like three people, me being one of them. There's no way that she's fake. I literally heard him call her one time. Yeah, plus I saw a picture of her. Simple-minded buffoons. Do you not see it possible that George paid some kid five pounds to put on a squeaky voice and impersonate a girl? Or that he showed you a random photo off the internet? No, what am I saying? Of course you fools don't see it. It's bullshit. 
You dated a few girls that go to that school and that's all of your proof? That's nothing. Yeah, seriously, maybe you should just mind your own business. You're right, Donald. Maybe I should mind my own business. But then again, if I did that, then how could I have uncovered this proof? What? What the hell? What is that? This is a stack of yearbooks. Not just any yearbooks. I have the past 10 years of yearbooks from South Middle School. No way. How can this be? Impossible. And among my several hours of searching, the name Linda Cobblewood never appeared. Not once. What? No, George, you lied to us. Bro, how could you do this? We believed you. Well, George, anything to say? Or do you wish to come clean? Check again. You don't have all of your facts in order. Huh? Yes. He's got something. That's right. She is super Photoshop. Her parents let her stay home specifically on picture day because she has super good grades and she has a fear of cameras. Ha! Ah, checkmate. Looks like you're in the clear after all. Darn it. Looks like I was stumped. Or was I? I knew you would manage to conjure up one excuse or another. You've been holding this secret for so long. When you go to bed at night, you probably think of loads of excuses to hide your little secret. Every moment you spend alone, you think about your dirty little secret. You've envisioned the day when someone would finally come forth and expose you. Any possible argument and any possible piece of evidence, you've already prepared yourself for it. You know just what to say. Yeah, whatever. Keep talking all you want. You don't have anything. Yeah, seriously. Your stupid mind games won't work on us. There's only one thing that can prove George wrong. Theoretically, I would need the perfect evidence. Some sort of insurmountable proof that can prove that George's girlfriend isn't real. It would need to be some piece of evidence so strong that George couldn't even envision it. Well, boys, I believe that I have that evidence. I hear a lot of talking, and that's all. George isn't a liar. Just leave. Perfect proof, my ass. You ain't got nothing. Across my many ventures in the world of love, I have dated many girls from many different schools. One of them has a mother who has a high position at South Middle School. One night, I had supper over at her house. Once her parents finally went to bed, I was able to get into her mom's laptop and copy some files onto a handy USB. I now have copies of the official records of South Middle School. What? Oh my God. As George and I already know, not a single shred of any of the several documents I went through has any mention of a Linda Cobblestone. Not only that, but I also have records of every family in the district. No such family name, Cobblestone, exists in the area or even in the state for that matter. George is a fraud. His girlfriend is fake. And for one reason or another, He's been lying to everyone about it this whole time. George, I... I don't know what to say. You've been lying to us this whole time? Yes. Believe me, George. This is just glorious for me. This endeavor has taken me several, several weeks. Thank you so much for making it all worthwhile. Your reaction is priceless. I just feel the shame that is pouring out of you right now. I'm surprised you haven't ran away and buried your face in a pillow of shame. Attention everyone, the book fair is set to begin in one minute. Ah, yes. That's the other reason I'm here. This will not be my only victory today. I'll admit it. I'm impressed. Thank you, sir. Just wait until you see what I do next. Well, well, well. Are you excited for the book fair? Oh yes, indeed. I am full of joy. I cannot wait to completely sell out of my book, The Ballad of Ben. Ah, I see. And you're sure that the books arrived safely, I presume? Of course. I mean, I personally didn't see them. But I guess there was this group of vendors that set them up a few hours ago. Ah, I see. So when is the last time you actually saw the books? Well, if you must know, I haven't seen them all day. Even us middle school helper high schoolers don't have permission to enter the book fair before it opens. I see. That completely makes sense. Silly Ben. Your reaction will be priceless when the book fair opens and your stupid little books are nowhere to be seen. Well, would you look at that? Just 30 more seconds until the book fair opens and you will be proven wrong. I will sell all of my books and you will forever be jealous and envious of me. 
Haha, yes, we will see then. Only 30 more seconds. I just have to keep my cool. I just can't wait to see that look on his face. I'm already envisioning the moment. Well, where is it? Where's your book? What? It must be here somewhere. It's supposed to be right in this corner. Where is it? What happened? Would you look at that? Just 10 more seconds until the book fair opens. Here it comes. The moment I've been waiting for. Time moves so slow when you're excited. Just five more seconds. I wish I could just take a picture right now. The expression on his face, he thinks he's about to serve me the biggest told you so ever. I am the coolest kid in the school. It was no problem getting some of the common rabble to do my bidding. Hidden in plain sight every day, students have been watching him, waiting to report to me at every turn. Through our time together, I have realized that every Monday night, he buys a brand new pack of cigarettes with his fake ID, which leads him to go to his little secret spot every Tuesday after lunch to smoke a cigarette. This secret spot also just so happens to be located right by the school's unloading station. This is where I chose to strike. I knew that right when I left, he would do anything to stop my shipment from arriving. But little does he know, the shipment that he turned away was not my collection of books. No, it was the shipment for the entire Scholastic Book Fair. Once these gates open, the crowd will see nothing except for one booth, selling my glorious books. Not only did Simon turn away the wrong shipment, but he also killed off my competition. I will then expose Simon for the selfish asshole he is and become a hero among the parents, and everyone will buy my book. My name will be cemented within households across the entire district. Your time at North Middle School ends here. Simon, you will be banished and forced to serve the rest of your days at the high school. Once Simon is gone, I will have complete control, and I'll tame those asshole losers and become the new ruler of my middle school kingdom of slaves. I will prove myself to him and have complete control. All right, you guys have some serious explaining to do. I'm actually trying to get some candy this year. We are totally going to get bullied and lose all of our candy with those costumes. What's wrong with my costume? I'm a silly clown. Everyone loves clowns. You're just jealous of my costume. Not everyone gets the luxury of going to Party City. Some of us actually make our own costumes. Maybe we should get bicycles or something. You guys might as well have just worn a giant target. If any of the cool kids see us, they are totally gonna rob us. Chill out, bro. Most of the cool kids usually go to parties. Dude, seriously, what the hell is that costume? Okay, hang on, sweetie. Let me write it down. So, what is it again? Arwen. It's a character from Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings? What's that? Is it violent? Is that rated M? No, Mom. It's a movie. Arwen is an elf from the movie. An elf? What? Hang on a minute. That's not some sort of drug reference, right? What? No. He's a hero. It's just a fantasy movie. Oh, okay. And you said his name is Arlen? No, Mom. It's Arwen. Just look for something that says Lord of the Rings, and it should look like an elf and come with ears. Okay, sweetie. I'll do my best. Wow, that sucks. I guess Obama gets a pass, but you two have no excuse. Oh, whatever, Donald. Let's go trick-or-treating. Yay, let's do it. Trick-or-treat. Trick treat. Wow, just look at those costumes. Just fantastic. Haha, <laughs> thanks. These costumes are really great. You guys have definitely earned some candy. But first, you must answer some Indiana Jones trivia questions. Oh my fucking god, just give us the candy. We have a whole list of houses to get to. Oh, come on. You're a kid. You have all the time in the world. Let's have some fun. No! I don't want to play your boring little game. Give us the candy so we can leave this shithole. Come on, Donald. It'll be fine. Exactly. The rules are simple. You only have to answer one question correctly to get your candy. That doesn't sound too hard. I've seen a few of the movies. Yeah, me too. I've seen almost all of them. Let's just do it, Donald. Oh my god, fine. You seriously better have some high-tier candy for wasting our time. Excellent. Let's begin. First question. What is the name of the cameo who appeared as an extra in the background of the airport scene in Temple of Doom? I'll give you a hint. She was a dancer. One hour later. Well, that's all of the questions I have. 
It's too bad you guys couldn't get any of them, but hey, I hope you learned something interesting. Just give us the candy. Certainly. Here you go, boys. One each. Are you fucking serious? We wasted all that time just for fucking raisins? You owe us. I could have had five king-sized bars by now. You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. That was absolute bullshit. That's a whole hour's worth of candy down the drain. I hope someone gives us dots. We're not going to get anything if we keep going to houses like that. Next time I say we should dip, maybe you guys should listen to me. I'm with Donald on this one. We need to be sure to use our time more efficiently. All right, well, we better get started. Where to next? Hey, check it out. There's a giant bowl of juice boxes. Ooh, let me get one of those. Hey, I want one too. Guys, there's no one here. Let's take all of them. Hey, Dingus, the sign clearly says to only take one. Dude, we have some serious catching up to do. We have to make up for all that lost time. I don't know, Donald. Are you sure about this? Won't we get in trouble? Oh my god, it's fine, guys. Look around. There isn't a soul. Just guard me while I put them all in my bag. Hey! Put those back! Where are your parents? Shit, shit. Hurry up, Donald. What are your names? I'm coming over there! Dude, hurry up. I'm trying! There's so many and my arms are getting tired. Get him, Dexter! Come on, this way. Huh? What? Help, help. Please, someone help. Someone help me. I'm alone and scared. I want my mommy. Oh no, are you lost, little guy? Um, yeah. What's your name, honey? My name's Joe. What's your name? Wow, she's the most beautiful person I've ever seen. Do you need help finding your mommy? What? Uh, no, I'm just looking for my friends. I don't know where they are. Oh, you poor little soul. Do you want to come with me? We can go trick-or-treating and get some candy. Uh, sure, let's do it. Wow, I think she might be into me. Does she know that I'm only in middle school? I mean, just look at her. She must be a high schooler. Oh my god, you are just so adorable. Huh? Did she, did she just call me adorable? Haha, -ha, thanks. Look at me, I'm a funny clown. Ha 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 Oh my god, that is just too cute. Come on, buddy, let's go get us some candy. Meanwhile... Good going, Donald. You just had to take every single juice box. Oh my god, it's fine. No one got hurt. Hey, dummy, we don't know where Joe is. Yeah, seriously, Joe can't be left alone. He's unpredictable and easily gets lost. Yeah, dude, it's your fault that we're in this mess. Yeah? Well, maybe we should have never wasted our time with that lame-ass old guy who was obsessed with Harrison Ford. How are we supposed to know that he would make us answer a bunch of boring-ass questions? All right, guys, enough! Joe is out there somewhere. We need to go find him. Well, 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 look who it is! Oh, shit! Mr. Pingus, what are you doing here? For your information, I am trick-or-treating! Just because I'm a grown-up doesn't mean I'm gonna pass up on free fucking candy! Why the hell are you dressed as a cop? It's my Halloween costume. Cops is my favorite show. That's great, sir. Well, I guess we will leave you be and let you enjoy your Halloween. I don't think so, pal. You three are coming with me. That nice lady up the hill told me about your little juice heist. You three little assholes clearly need adult supervision. Let's go. Trick or treat. Oh, isn't that just so sweet? Your costumes are adorable. Ah, thanks. I'm a silly clown. <laughs> <laughs> you sure know how to put a smile on an old lady's face. That is so funny, Joe. He is just the cutest. Am I right? He certainly is. You are so lucky to have a kind young mother to go trick-or-treating with. Um, well, um... Since you guys have just made my night, you may each have two pieces of candy. Wow. That was pretty awesome. You're really good at getting candy. Ha, <laughs> thanks, Allie. You're gonna give me one of those Kit Kats you just got, right? Um, what? I saw that she gave you two Kit Kat bars. Are you going to give me one? Wait, I'm confused. I thought she also gave you two Kit Kats. She did. Oh.
I am a princess. Don't you know that princesses are expensive? If you want to be with a princess, you have to spoil them. Oh, I see. Well, um, okay. That's more like it. Thanks, Joe. Haha, <laughs> sure. Say, you might be much more useful than I thought. Really? That's great to hear. Wow, it's like a dream come true. I get to be with a princess. Come on, Joe. Let's go meet some of my friends. Haha, <laughs> okay. Meanwhile... All right! There will be no more missing kids tonight! You kids are in luck! My kids are teenagers now, but I still have this leash from when I would take them grocery shopping. A leash? What the hell are you gonna do with that? I don't like where this is going. All of you are going to be strapped into this leash. There will be no running away. There will be no more taking extra candy and juices. You boys are completely mine to control. This is bullshit. I'm so gonna tell my dad. He's probably gonna sue your ass when he finds out what you're doing. Yeah? Well, guess what? You guys are just kids, and you're breaking the rules. Maybe you should have thought of that before being fucking losers. Wow, Mommy. This is amazing. Thank you so much for this wonderful experience. It's no problem, sweetie. You are the light of my life. I love you, Mommy. Can we go get more candy? Haha, <laughs> of course, sweetie. Quit pulling on the fucking huh? leash, Donald. I'm an old man. My arm is gonna give out if you keep pulling like that. You walk too fucking slow. We've only hit one house in the past ten minutes. Well, sorry that I don't have the energy of a young teenage boy. I've been through four different addictions and two divorces. My body has some miles, you little shit. Just let us go. We're old enough to trick or treat on our own. Not a chance in fucking hell! You naughty little gremlins aren't going anywhere unless I say so! So, um, where are we going? There goes the timer. That means it's time for my princess tax. Open your bag. <sighs> wow, so many choices. I am a princess, so I can only have the best. No, please, no. Not my dots. Those are my favorite. Sorry, Joe. I told you that princesses are expensive. Now, come on. We are going to a high school Halloween party. Oh my god, no way. A high school party? Um, are you sure about this? I don't know. Joe, I am one of the most popular girls in the high school. I could bring a dead pig to the function if I really wanted to. Oh man, this party is huge. I don't know about this. It'll be fine, Joe. It's me and you. Come on, let's go. I just have to make it through this. If I can make it through this party, I might be able to make her my girlfriend. Okay, let's do this. Whoa there, Allie. Who's this kid? He looks like he's in middle school. Yes, he is. Now let us through, Chad. You got me fucked up if you think I'm letting this little wimp inside. We love you, Chad. Oh, please, Chad. Please. Oh, you would just be my knight in shining armor if you let us through. By the way, have you been working out? You look super buff. What? Well, all right, Allie. You can go through, I suppose. Maybe you'll finally accept my my space friend request. We'll see, darling. All right. You little runts are gonna stand right here. I may have had a few too many milk duds, so it'll be a minute. Don't move a muscle. When will this misery end? This is torture. He literally has to sit down and take a break every 10 minutes. It's getting ridiculous. I don't think he was even chewing when he ate those milk duds. He just swallowed them like medicine and washed it down with beer. Next time he takes candy from us, don't let him take anything with cinnamon in it. His farts are unbearable. Oh, look at this. It looks like there's a Halloween party just down the street. We are totally going. All right, boys, put your harnesses on. We're going to a party. We're going to a what? You're like 70 years old. I don't think those high schoolers are going to be ecstatic to see their old principal at a Halloween party. Shut up. We're going to that party, and you guys are not going to embarrass me in front of the cool high schoolers. Just say the words, Joe. Just say the words. You can do this. Okay, here it goes. Hey, Ali, do you want to go out with me? Out with you? What do you mean? We're out right now, aren't we? Yeah, I guess so. That's not really what I meant, though. I like you, Ali. 
You're cute. Come on, Joe. Let's go upstairs. I want to show you something. What does she want to show me? Is she going to kiss me? Will this be my first kiss? All right, boys. We have arrived. I made sure to tighten the harnesses extra tight. There will be no leaving my supervision. Everyone in that house is a high schooler, and I am the principal they had back when they were in middle school. There's going to be so many people I fucking know. Let us go, let us go, please, sir. There's going to be so many chicks in there. I cannot be seen attached with a leash and a Mickey Mouse harness to the fucking principal. We will be bullied by everyone for the rest of eternity. Oh, shut up. You'll be fine. If I see any of you goofing around, I will not hesitate to put you in time out. Once again, I cannot stress this enough. Do not embarrass me. You know, George, I'm actually jealous of your costume right now. At least you get to hide your face. DIY for the win. Joe, remember that thing you said to me about liking me and wanting to go out with me? Yes, I want to go out with you. You're the prettiest girl I've ever seen. That's so sweet of you, Joe. So here's the thing. Joe, there you are. We've been looking all over for you. Come on, we got to get out of here. Mr. Pingus is about to come in the house. Yeah, come on, Joe, or else we'll get into a bunch of trouble. Hang on, guys, one sec. What were you saying? Joe, we got to leave. Now's our chance. It looks like you found your friends, Joe. You don't need me anymore. No, please. I've never met a girl like you. I need you. Don't you feel the same way? No. But they do. There she is! It's our queen! I love you, Allie. She must be protected. She said she liked my shirt last week. I think I might have a chance. Oh, yeah? Well, she liked my photo on Facebook. Allie will be mine. I have given her all of my candy. What the hell is this? Who are these people? These are my fans. I'll do anything for you. Did you listen to that song I wrote about you? I swear I will make her mine one day. She is so perfect. I'm, I'm glad, glad you can all join, join us for our little party. party. I will, I will now, now have, have your soul and all of your candy. You will join the ranks and be endlessly loyal to me. You will worship the ground I walk on and follow my every command. Anything to receive my love and appreciation. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. You will be endlessly loyal to our goddess. Join the ranks. Who's ready to party? I brought great value root beer from the dollar store. Is there anyone that brought vanilla ice cream and is willing to get a little naughty? The cops are here. Run! 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 It's the cops. We need to get out of here. What the hell is happening here? It's it is all all she she took all of our candy. All right, all right, all right, calm down. You better cut that out. As for you guys, you ran into the party ahead of me and left my supervision. And Joe ran away or some shit. You all broke rules and I'm calling your parents. Ha! How's that for an ending, huh? Just like the good old days. Oh my god, that is bullcrap. Of course my controller messes up right when there's another guy. Stay mad, loser. Skill issue. Hey, shut up. You totally cheated. You used a lag switch because you need a lag switch to even get kills because you're a little bitch. Nah, you're just bad. Also, I have your address. I'm coming over there. Yeah, right. Whatever, asshole. Hey, sweetie. I have to go on a business trip out of state. So I have to hire a babysitter to watch over you. What? What about dad? Um... Well, uh, me and Daddy are having problems right now, so he's staying at a friend's house. Well, what about that guy that's always coming to fix the TV? Honey, remember what I said? No one is supposed to know about the TV repair man. Mom, I'm 13 years old. I don't need a babysitter anymore. Ah, crap. My taxi is here. I'm sorry, sweetie. I gotta go. I love you. The babysitter will be here soon. Just be good for her, okay? Mom, wait. 
cancel the babysitter, please. I'm so sick and tired of Mrs. Wilson watching over me. All she does is yell at me and fart. Mrs. Wilson isn't feeling too good. It will be a different babysitter this time. What? Who? Hi, Mrs. Trump. What? You gotta be kidding me. She's my babysitter? She's a high schooler. I'm sorry, dear. It was last minute and she only lives a few minutes away. I gotta get going. Mom, please, please, you can't do this to me. She's psychotic and evil. Love you, sweetie. This is bullshit. Well, looks like it's just me and you, bud. Remember, I am in direct contact with your mother. She will know about any misbehavior. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm going to tell you the same thing I tell all the other babysitters. The entire downstairs is yours, and you can take anything from the fridge and I'll say it was me. In return, I will stay in my room and play video games and you fuck off entirely. Ooh, I'm not so sure about that, Donald. You have yet to earn any video game time. What the hell are you talking about? I earned it already because it's my fucking house. I don't think so, buddy. I'm in charge. You have to do what I say. Otherwise, I will tell your mommy and daddy and everyone at school that you're a misbehaved loser. How the hell am I supposed to earn my video game time? I'm glad you asked. It's simple. You're going to do whatever I say without question. If you can be good for long enough, you may earn some video game time. Fuck you, Allie. I'm not going to do anything you say, you demonic bitch. Oh, no. Looks like that's strike one. Hey, what? where are you going? You must be taught a lesson. Where the hell are you going? No, what are you doing with that? I'm gonna break it. Don't you fucking dare. You want me to? I'll do it. No, don't do it. I'll do whatever you say. Please, please. Great. I'll be locking this up. If you, you want to see this, this in one piece by nightfall, nightfall you, you will, will do whatever I ask without a glimpse of hesitation. Yes, yes, anything, please. Great. Now it's time to have a tea party. Do you like the tea? Yes. Then drink it. Good. Now thank Mrs. Piggy. What? Mrs. Piggy worked all morning to make her famous lemon stone tea. Thank, thank her. her. You're literally a high schooler. Why do you still play with dolls and Barbies? Already. Hopefully your games are saved onto the cloud because I'm breaking the hard drive too. No, 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 uh, thanks, Mrs. Piggy, yummy yum tea. Absolutely magnificent. Good. Now kiss her. What? Kiss Mrs. Piggy! <laughs> OMG, that is so adorable. I can't wait to share this with all my friends. What the hell? Not cool, not cool at all. Fuck you, Allie. Now you are forever bound to my command. Unless you wish for this photo to be released to the entire world. OMG. Hey, girls. Hey, girl hey hot stuff. Come inside. I have someone for you to meet. This is Donald. Say hi, Donald. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is adorable. How long have you had him for? Can we give him a makeover? Of course we can. He is completely mine to control. We can do whatever we want with him. Wow, what an amazing gift. We get a fun little puppet to play with. What should we do first? His hair? A makeover? Putting him in a pretty dress? Don't worry, girls. Whatever your heart desires, he will be our obedient stooge. Otherwise, I'll break his Xbox and make him a loser for eternity with the picture I got of him. Ooh, a picture? Oh my god, T, show us. <laughs> oh my god, that would literally end his life. He would absolutely be the biggest loser ever until he graduates. How old is this little guy anyways? Beats me. He's a middle schooler, so probably 11. Hey, for your information, I'm 13 years old. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's quite the feisty one, isn't he? This is going to be so much fun. Have at it, girls. The night is still young. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what should we do next? I think we've done everything we can do. Nonsense. There's always more. Um, while you think about it, I'll just be in my room. 
<laughs> no! We will tell you what to do. Oh, since you have that photo, why don't we just break his Xbox and record him crying? Ooh, yes, that would be so cool. No, please, no! OMG, no way, Jason is calling me. No fucking way, he's seriously calling you back after standing you up at the football game? What an asshole. I don't know, guys. I think I should answer it. I miss him so much. And plus, the reason he stood me up was because he had to go to the emergency room for his broken leg. Don't do it, Brett. He's an asshole. You deserve better. You should listen to your toxic friend's advice when it comes to your dating life. But he's just so handsome and sweet to me. <sighs> okay. Answer the call and make sure it's on speaker so me and Martha can hear. My drama meter is running low, so this will be a good refuel. All right, Donald, we have some girl drama to deal with. You're going to be staying in the basement until we're done. This is the worst day ever. Of course this has to happen to me since I'm the one everyone wants to watch. No way, a phone. Hello? Mom, please help me. Allie took my Xbox and invited her friends over and gave me a makeover there threatening to break my Xbox and post an embarrassing picture of me online. Wait, what? You didn't tell me you had a kid? Um, I gotta go, sweetie. I'm in a super important business meeting right now. Mom! Love you, sweetie. Oh man, this is hopeless. Unless... Hello? Thank God. Listen, you gotta save me. It's Ali. My mom hired her as my babysitter. She has my Xbox held hostage. She has an embarrassing photo of me that could ruin my life. Please, do something, please. You really think you're sneaky, huh? God damn it. Ali, can we punish him now? Yeah, I think he needs a punishment. Haha, <laughs> you guys are right. It's punishment time. Is it going? Yep, it's going, girl. Great. So here we are. Donald is extremely misbehaved. How does the Council of Hot Girls find him? Guilty. Very well. Donald is guilty. He shall pay with a life of embarrassment until he graduates. Once I post this picture, my entire army will witness it and spread it like wildfire. They will do anything I ask. It didn't have to come to this, Donald. You could have just listened and obeyed. I want you to get on your knees and beg. Beg me not to post this picture. Three more seconds, Donald. Three more seconds until your life is destroyed. Three, two, one. Huh? What the? Oh, what was that? Amazing, isn't it? A small slab of wood with a heavy duty rubber band wrapped around it. Although it's rather primitive in its design, even the most basic models are capable of reaching 200 FPS. Then you have a train shooter like me, who can reach up to 250. What the hell? What is he talking about? What? Oh, did that not make sense to you? Okay, let me put it this way. I could be all the way on the other side of the street and still get my shot before you could ever push the little post button. Who's this kid? He's weird. Yeah, that's cool and all about your dumb little toy or whatever. But I already sent the picture to Brett and Martha. They have the picture too. This worked out great. Now we can both post it. It'll gain twice as much traction. I'm gonna gain so many new followers once they see this. A good soldier always brings reinforcements. Wow, that was fun. I wonder what we should shoot next. Hey, I know. How about we shoot those evil witches? Return the Xbox, it's over. Why should we? You already destroyed our phones. That means we have nothing else to lose. No, don't do it. Maybe next time you'll think twice about breaking our phones. 
You might as well have just killed us since we spend our entire lives on them. Yeah, seriously, I'm already facing withdrawals. I can't make eye contact with anyone in the real world. Anything to say before I destroy your tiny little loser box? Great, say bye-bye. I believe we have some unfinished business, Donald. Or should I call you Butt Breath 54? Huh? What? 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 No way! What the hell are you talking about? Who the hell are you? It is I. Pizza Stomper 23, I believe I told you earlier today that I shall be tracking your IP and coming to your address. Well, here I am. It is now time for you to fight me one-on-one -on -one in Team Deathmatch. What the hell? That's right. I know you've been using a lag switch. Now it's time to face me in local co-op. That way, there will be no cheating. A few moments later. Are you fucking serious? That was so fucking cheap. Skill issue! I'm literally mopping the floor with you and you get lucky once. Who the fuck uses the M27? That shit's for pussies. You're literally using a sniper in a 1v1. What a fucking tryhard. You're a fucking 12 year old. How the fuck are you that good with the 5-7? Don't you go to school or have a life? Says the old man who IP tracked me for a 1v1. Don't give me that shit. I saw that modded controller hidden under your bed. When the fuck did you go to my room? What a fucking creep. Guys, this is super boring. Can we play a game or something? Shut, Shut up! up. Alright guys, I'm about to go to the bathroom for the rest of class and say that I have diarrhea. Dude, last time you did that, you ended up getting hemorrhoids from sitting on the toilet for too long. I'll be careful this time. I didn't do the homework, and I'm gonna get detention if I don't ditch. Wait, homework? What homework? Are you guys serious? How do you two always forget about the homework? Usually George has my back. Where the hell is he anyways? George texted me this morning saying he was sick. All right, son, I gotta go to work. I hope you feel better. Thanks, Dad. See you later, son. What a lucky son of a bitch. Whenever I'm sick, my dad still makes me go to school. Obama, can I see your homework? Good morning, class. Good, Good morning, morning, Mrs. Smith. Suck a turd. Okay, class, this is a reminder that this weekend is the annual science fair, so today, you guys will get into groups. Fuck that! I'm not wasting my Saturday on a lame-ass science fair. I'm afraid that the science fair is mandatory this year. What? You gotta be joking. Last year it was optional. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Last year we had almost no one show up, so this year the new principal decided to make it mandatory. Oh god, this sucks so hard. Also, due to the lack of participation last year, we are allowing high schoolers to join in on the science fair as well. Wait, what? But that's no fair. Quiet! I'm out of NyQuil and Whippets, so don't fuck with me today. This is I'm bullshit, scared. bullshit, Big kid high bullshit. School I don't want to do this. This school Take blows. Away. Shut the hell up! You little shits are gonna do the science fair, and you're gonna like it. Also, there's a $50 reward for first place. So, maybe if Donald can find it in his heart to actually give two shits about the curriculum, you guys might have a chance. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Hello there, Ben. Good morning, Miss Smith. How are you today? Class, Ben here won the science fair three years in a row. There has never been a science fair that Ben has lost. Tis but a single blade of grass in my field of academic accomplishments. Oh my god, get a room, you two. No one gives a shit. I wouldn't expect someone with an IQ and social status as low as yours to understand my amazing accomplishments. So you mix some vinegar and baking soda together and taped on a Wikipedia article. Anyone can do that shit. Is that so? Well, if you're so confident in your abilities, I will be joining the fair this year since they allow high schoolers. I would sincerely enjoy watching you fail at something miserably as you are prone to doing. You're on, Ben. Just you wait. Our science project is gonna mop the floor with yours. All right, that's enough, Donald. It seems that the peasant who is at the bottom of the pyramid once again wishes to rise and dominate his masters. I have never lost a science fair. I will not accept anything less than first place, and I will surely not lose my undefeated title to a low-class peasant like yourself.
I'm so fucking sick of Ben. He thinks he's so great and smart just because he sucks off all the teachers. Chill out, Donald. Maybe if we stick together and work hard, we can beat him. That's if he doesn't cheat. I don't get why everyone sees him as an angel. He's a fucking prick. Maybe we can make a volcano. Oh my God, that is so fucking lame. Just give me some chili dogs and hot Cheetos and I'll show you a volcano. What if we do the baking soda and vinegar thing? It definitely won't win, but it's super easy and it will at least get us a B. No, that's not enough. I want Ben to suffer. I want to see the look on his face when we're standing on that first place podium. Okay, but you do realize that you'll actually have to, you know, do work, right? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's hang out after school and brainstorm some ideas. Let's do my house. Ben will be at karate practice and my mom will be at work. Hell yeah, let's do that. Ben takes karate classes? What a fucking loser. Keep your voice down. He takes it very seriously. Okay, class. Today we're going to be learning the dragon heel kick. Do we have any volunteers who already know this kick? I will volunteer, Sensei Jonathan. Perhaps I could show these little twerps a thing or two about karate. Okay, come on up, Ben. But please let me do the explaining this time, okay? Of course, Sensei Jonathan. However, I am almost a black belt, so perhaps it would help if I gave these kids a few pointers. After all, I am a high schooler. Ben, are you sure that you don't want to sign up for the adult classes? Later that day. Okay, guys, what should we do for our science project? Did anyone get any new ideas? Nah, not really. You guys start brainstorming. I gotta warm up my brain with some team deathmatch. Ooh, let me play too. Hell no. I don't feel like carrying your sorry ass. Guys, we are supposed to be working on our science project. I will, I will. Video games help me brainstorm. One hour later. Okay, Joe, I'm gonna have to cross off the Barbie castle idea. What? But why? That's got nothing to do with science, Joe. Oh, rats. What if we do an ecosystem with bugs and stuff? Fuck that! I'm not rolling around in the dirt to look for worms. Ooh, what if we make one of those balloon-powered cars? Hell no, that's too much work. What if we make bath bombs? Joe, are you serious? I'm trying to win the science fair, not the biggest loser of the school award. Okay, fine, Donald. You got any ideas then? What if we make a pipe bomb? Are you serious? That's way too much work and we would get in so much trouble. What if we make a love potion and then I can use it on Hillary? You guys are giving me a migraine. I forgot what this was like before George came around. Fuck, that was total bullshit. What the fuck is this game? Hey, you just threw my controller. Chill out, Joe. I throw mine all the time. It'll be fine. Can you maybe get off the damn Xbox and help us? Oh my God, fine. How about we go to the playground and look for inspiration? Yeah, okay, Yay, that's not a Let's go to the playground. Idea. Look at me, guys. I'm king of the world. Dude, come on. Let's go look for science ideas. Let's just play and have fun. The ideas will come to us when we stop chasing them. Ooh, yay. Let's play hide and seek. Yes, let's play. I'm coming down. I call Seeker. <laughs> wow, it hurts. It hurts. I think I broke something. Oh, God. What do we do? What do we do? Are you okay, bro? Open your fucking eyes. Do I look okay, Obama? What do you think? What do we do? Should we call an ambulance? No, it's just a bruise. You'll be fine, bro. Oh god, it hurts like hell! Can you kids quiet down over there? Can't you see I'm trying to use speed? Fuck off! I can be as loud as I please. We are literally at the playground and I'm injured. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. Oh, for fuck's sake! Quit being a bitch! I've spent all day cooking this stuff up. I don't need you twerps making a distraction. Cooking? Cooking what? Hey, what's that crystal stuff you have? Oh, this? This is, uh... Candy! This is candy! Candy? I've never seen candy like that. What? You have candy? Maybe we'll shut up if you give us some of that candy. Ooh, yay, I want candy too. Gee, I, uh... You see, this is a very special type of candy. And I can't just give it to kids. It's very hard to come by. What? Come on, just give us some candy. It can't be that hard to get. You can literally get giant bags of it at Walmart. Not this type of candy. This is, uh... This is the best candy in the world. It's one of a kind. Making it is a long, steady process. It takes a bit of science and a lot of know-how. People come to me from miles away just to have a taste of this delicious candy. Yeah, that's great and all. I think we should be going. We will leave you to your candy. Hang on a second. Did you say science? Guys, we should make some of this candy for our science project. Gee, I don't know, Donald. Let's do it. This guy is literally a scientist. Sir, can you help us with our science project? Yeah, I don't think so. 
This stuff ain't cheap, you know. It takes very precise ingredients to make it. Don't worry about that. I can just get my parents to buy the ingredients. It's for school, so I doubt they would say no. Um, Donald, I don't think this is a good idea. Let's make some yummy candy. Hmm. Okay, Dusty, here's all the ingredients for the special candy. I didn't know that paint thinner was used to make candy, but whatever, we are so gonna win this science fair. These kids are willing to buy me ingredients to make more speed. This is a golden opportunity. I can't pass this up. Now I can finally pay off those assholes and start selling my own stuff. You know what? Sure, I will help you with, uh, your science project. Yes, Yippee. let's go. Here is a list of the ingredients you will need. Be sure to get every single one of them. If we miss any of them, then our, uh, candy will be defective and taste like shit. Yay, we get to make candy. This is great. But here's the deal. I get to keep all of the candy once we are done. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I can't wait to see the look on Ben's face when we win the science fair. This is a highly secret candy, so be sure not to tell anyone that you guys are making it. Why is it such a secret? Why can't we tell anyone? This is a top secret candy. You can't get it at any stores. Only I know how to make it. If you spread the word around, then everyone will try to make this, uh, candy. So keep your mouth shut. Wow, this must be the best tasting candy in the world if it's such a secret. For sure. Now get all of those ingredients and meet me back here tomorrow, and I will show you my ultimate candy laboratory. No way, that's so cool we get to go to a laboratory? This is amazing. This is the first time ever that I'm excited about school. Great. You guys can call me Dusty, by the way. Hi, Dusty, I'm Joe. Hi, Joe. You guys are so gonna win this science fair. Just be sure to get all the ingredients, and then I will work my magic. Science rules! Hey, Dad! What? God damn it, Donald! Don't sneak up on me like that! Sorry, Dad. Can we go to the store? I need a list of materials for my science project. Science project? What fucking science project? There is a science fair this weekend for school. I need to get these materials for it. Are you fucking kidding me? Why the hell is the school giving you guys a project that I have to spend my own fucking money on? Please, Dad. I'm really excited about it. I think I'm finally gonna get an A and win the science fair. God damn it, Donald. It's already six o'clock. Now you're asking me to get off my ass and run to Walmart? Hey, honey, what's this I'm hearing about a science project? Mom, there's a science project at school and I need a list of materials. Ooh, that sounds fun. I've never seen you so excited about a school project. Yeah, this science project is gonna win the science fair. We even met a scientist at the park who's willing to help us. You met a scientist? That's interesting. So what exactly is this project you guys are doing? I can't say. It's top secret, but don't worry. I promise I will get an A and win the science fair. Wow, Donald. I've never seen you this motivated for a school project. It seems like you've turned a new leaf. Craig, can you take Donald to Walmart? It is for a school project after all. Why can't you take him? This is absolute bullshit. I have been working my ass off all day while you've just been sitting on yours. Can you please just help out for once? Samantha, a new season of Cops is out. I can't miss the premiere. How about this? If you do this, I'll buy you some Modellos on my way home from work tomorrow. Fine, goddammit. Come on, son, let's get this shit over with. Your pops could use some more beers. Thanks, Dad. Uh, yeah. That's the stuff. Oh, Callum, Giovanni. I wasn't expecting to see you guys here. Dusty. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Not so fast. Please, don't hurt me. I promise I'll get the money to you. It's too late for that, Dusty. We've given you several weeks and you still haven't paid us. Yeah, it's time to pay with some broken bones. Please, please, I promise I'll pay you. In fact, I'll pay you double what I owe. Yeah? And how do I know you won't just keep running away? Yeah, something's gotta give. Maybe we should make an example out of you, since we clearly want to get our money. Here, uh, tell you what. I'll give you some product. A whole bunch of it, please. Product? How the hell is a junkie like you gonna get us some product? Listen, 
I got these chumps to get me ingredients and I'm gonna make some. I'll give it all. Just please don't hurt me. Hmm. Okay, fine. I better have an entire shipment by the end of the week or your ass is grass. I will. I will. I'm good for it. I swear. We'll see about that. We know where to find you if you try and play us again. Assholes. Okay, son, here's your mom's credit card. Just go get your shit and be quick about it. Thanks, Dad. I'll be super quick, I promise. What the hell? What is this stuff? Is any of this stuff even edible? A few moments later. What up, lady? Let's make this quick. I have an ultimate top secret science project, and I'm in a hurry. Science project, huh? Oh shit, no way. You sell? Sell what? The stuff you're buying. You sell. My dealer jacked up the prices. I could sure use a new one. I don't know what you're talking about, lady. This stuff is for an ultimate secret science project. Just ring me up. A few moments later. Okay, that'll be $321.61. God damn, science is expensive. Have a nice day. Later, bitch. Yeah, I think we may have found a new dealer. I can't. I'm at work right now. I'm at the Walmart on Main Street. You gotta come quick so you can follow him. Okay, Dad, I got all my stuff. Great, that took forever. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, I'm on him. Let's find out where our little gold mine is headed. Hey guys. What's up, man? So did you get it? Did you get the stuff? Yep, my dad took me to Walmart last night. I just can't wait to see the look on Ben's face when we crush him. Can you please shut up so I can announce the winner? Great! What? Donald and his candy project won! What? How can this be? What the hell? Ah, take that asshole. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. This is gonna be the best science project ever. Hey, dude. Did you hear about the upcoming science fair? For sure. I wonder what Ben is gonna bring this year. Yeah, seriously, I bet he's gonna bring something crazy. He always does. I heard he got Bill Nye to help him. No one else has a chance. No way, seriously? Why should anyone even try at this point? No one even has a chance of beating him. Hey, you seriously think Ben is gonna win? Just you wait. We have the ultimate science project this year. Oh yeah? And what might that be? It's top secret. We aren't allowed to tell anybody. Yeah, it's top secret. But we are definitely gonna win. We even have a real-life scientist helping us. That's right, boys. Spread the word. We are taking down Ben this year. Right. Are we really supposed to believe that a group of three losers, with one of them having the worst grades in the school, are going to take down the smartest and coolest kid in the entire school district? <laughs> <laughs> you guys might as well just give up. I mean, why even try? Just you wait. Our science project is going to utterly demolish Ben. Just wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, buddy, whatever you say. What a fucking loser. <laughs> Seriously. Those fucking assholes! It's okay, bro. Don't let them get to you. They kind of hurt my feelings. Don't worry, guys. We will win with our actions. Everyone will be proven wrong when they see our ultimate science project. Hi, Dusty. How's it going, boys? Did you bring the stuff? Yep, got it all right here. You ready to make some of that candy? Let me see. Yep, looks like you guys got everything. Time for us to make some of the best candy you've ever seen. Let's yeah, go! Yeah, this is, great. Let's this is gonna excited. be awesome! Hey boss, it's us! What are we gonna do? The boss is going to be super angry when he realizes that Dusty hasn't paid us yet. We'll be fine. Just don't bring it up. 
As long as he comes through with that product he promised us, we'll be rolling in dough. I don't know about this, Callum. Maybe we shouldn't have trusted Dusty. Do you really think he's gonna get product for us? He has to! And if he doesn't, we'll break his legs! I don't know. It sounded pretty convincing at the time, but Boss might be angry about us returning empty-handed. Shut up, Giovanni. We'll be fine. Oh shit, I think he's coming. Be cool! Hey, Boss, we're back. I see. And my money? Well, we didn't get it, but we got some good news. Yeah, we scared that sucker, and he said he would get us a shipment of product by the end of the week. Am I crazy? Or are you telling me right now that you trusted Dusty, a worthless junkie who hangs out at the park, to get us product? Yeah! Ouch! Consider this punishment for being dumbasses. Now get up and go find Dusty and get my money from that asshole. Did it! Look at that stuff! This is gonna knock everyone's socks off! Can I try some now? Ooh, yeah, let's have some candy. Yes, time to try our ultimate creation. No! You can't eat any! It's not ready yet. You'll have to, uh, come back tomorrow. What? That is so unfair. At least give me some of it so I can have it at home. The science fair is tomorrow. We might not have time to come get it. Can we just take it with us? Open up, Dusty. We know you're in there. Time to give us what you promised. Oh, crap! Who the hell are those guys? Ooh, I bet they really want some candy. Shut, Shut up, Joe. Joe. Hide the candy, boys. Let me go take care of this. It's just, uh, some friends of mine. What an asshole! We just made this awesome candy and he's not gonna let us have any. The science fair is tomorrow. Now we have to think of a new project. Why does he want us to hide the candy? I, for one, don't trust him. He's probably telling us to come back tomorrow because he's gonna eat all of it. What do you mean? Dusty's cool. He wouldn't play us like that. Screw this, I'm gonna try some of the candy. Don't, Donald. Dusty said not to. How do we even know if this candy is good? He hasn't let us try it once. I don't know, Donald. You think he'll be mad at us? Fuck off, Joe. Who cares what that sack of shit feels? He wasted our time. I'm trying a piece of this candy. <coughs> what the hell is this? It tastes like garbage. It doesn't taste sugary at all. What? Seriously? Let me try some. <coughs> Holy crap, he's right. This candy tastes like baking soda or something. Oh, uh, hey guys, what can I do you for? I was told that my delinquent minions here trusted you to get us some product. Well, it's time to make do on that promise. It is Friday after all. You better have not lied to us, or else you'll be paying with broken teeth. Yeah, hand over the product, Dusty. I will! I got these chumps to make me some. They think they're gonna take it to school for a science fair or something. Ha ha ha! Come on, let's go get the product and kick those boys out. God damn it! Why do we trust some loser at the park to make us candy? What do we do? What do we do? The science fair is tomorrow and it's too late to start a new project. This is bullshit! Okay, I guess we should just leave and go figure something out. Hell no! I'm not doing any more work. Let's just take the candy and turn it in anyways. It's better than turning in nothing. A few moments later... Well, it seems you've lied to us twice. I don't see any product. And I sure as hell don't see any kids down here. What, Donald, Joe, Obama, where are you guys? The game is over, Dusty. Time to pay. Yeah, you've swerved us for the last time. No, please, I'll do anything, please. Giovanni, Callum, make sure you clean up when you're done. Yes, boss. Wait, wait! I swear they made some product. They must have run off with it. We can go find them. Yeah, right. You really think we're gonna trust your sorry ass again? It's the truth! Those stupid-ass kids think that they just made candy. We can go get it from them! I swear, it's the best stuff I've ever made! 
I've heard that one before. Not today, Dusty. Wait. We're gonna go get the product from the kids. Oh, thank God, you won't regret it. But you're coming with us. You will not be leaving our site until that product is in my hands. Got it? Yes, yes, you'll have your product. Good. Everyone be sure to get some rest tonight. We have a science fair to go to. Okay, Joe, can you hand me the tape? Tape? What tape? The tape for the project. Where is it? Oh shit, I used it to make this tape monster. Are you fucking serious? That was all of our tape. Chill out, Obamna. I'm sure we can find more. Joe, do you have any more tape? No, we don't have any. Are you serious, Joe? You don't have any tape? What kind of house doesn't have tape? I don't know. We don't have any. Please don't yell at me. Jesus Christ, chill out, guys. I guess we will just have to use the glue. Oh, God, this is gonna suck. I spilled the glue on the floor. Joe, are you serious? You're like a toddler. We can't leave you unsupervised for 30 seconds or else you'll screw something up. Chill out, dude. He's not the one who made a stupid tape monster and wasted all of our tape. God damn it, this sucks. The science fair is tomorrow. There's no way my dad will take me to Walmart to get more supplies. Hey guys, what's that scary van outside? What? Let me see. I don't know, Tiffany. I've been tracking him for the past few days. You sure this is our guy? It has to be! I saw him buy all that stuff. They must be cooking in there. Hmm, maybe they have a secret lab or something. Oh shit, someone's pulling up. Huh? Um, can I help you guys? I don't know, maybe you can. What? You look like a guy who knows science. You catch my drift? Oh, I see. You guys are trying to see what I'm bringing to the science fair tomorrow. You guys must be my fans. Well, I'm sorry, but you'll have to wait till tomorrow. Science fair? What is this guy talking about? The science fair! As I'm sure you know, I am the undefeated science fair champion. But just like the rest of the common rabble, you'll have to wait till tomorrow to see my epic project. Hey, what's going on here? Nothing, Bill. Go wait in the car. I don't understand. Is there a problem? Oh, don't worry, Bill. These guys are just super excited about the science fair to see what we're going to bring. Oh, that's great. It's always good to meet new people who have a passion for science and learning. Um, yeah, we're super excited. Totally. By the way, is there anyone else in the house who's doing an, uh, science project? What? Oh, you must be speaking about Joe and his loser friends. I can assure you that whatever they bring to the science fair is going to suck compared to what me and Bill made. So, this, um, science fair, where can we find it? Um, it's at the middle school tomorrow at 9 a.m. sharp. Duh. Our science fair project is super awesome. It's definitely gonna win. I sure as heck wouldn't want to stain Ben's name with a subpar science project. Don't worry. Come on, Bill. Let's leave our fans here in suspense. We will totally blow their minds away with our science project. Haha, uh -huh. sounds good. God damn it, Badger, you're a fucking dumbass. That is not the guy I wanted you to follow. I wasn't following him. I've been following the guy you told me to. It's the fat kid with the temper, right? Yeah, so who the fuck was that guy? I don't know, maybe he's secretly working for them. Look, there he is, that's our guy, right? Let me see. Yeah, that's him. They must be working with that weird kid who approached us. He said something about a science fair. That must be code for something. Oh shit, you're right! That must be where they do their dealings. He said 9 a.m. at the middle school. Why the hell would they want to do their business at a middle school? Tomorrow is Saturday. It's gonna be totally empty. Oh yeah, that's kind of genius. No one would even think to look there. Totally. We definitely discovered some super secret undercover operation. I bet their stuff is amazing! Yes, looks like we're going to the science fair tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! This is quite a turnout! I bet all of these parents are just so excited to see what you brought to the science fair this year! They will not be disappointed. Me and Bill have made something truly out of the ordinary. Oh gosh, I'm just so excited! I bet it'll even top last year when you dived into Mesopotamian farming techniques. Of course, this year's project is better than ever. Especially whatever those losers, Joe, Donald, and Obamna brought.
Hey guys, how's it looking? It's looking good. No, it looks like total shit. The parents are coming in 15 minutes and this is all we have. What about the candy? Did you guys bring the candy? Yeah, I got it right here. I just tried another piece a few minutes ago and it still tastes like garbage. God damn it. What even is this stuff? Why does Dusty like it so much? Maybe only grown-ups like it. I guess that might be true. Whatever we do, we should play it safe and not let anyone try the candy. Wow, Ben, that sounds absolutely lovely. I'm so glad that you still involve yourself with the middle school and lead as a positive role model for these kids. Tis a pleasure and an honor. You as well, Bill. I'm so glad you took time off of your AP high school science classes to come down here. It's no problem at all, Miss Smith. I'm always happy to join in on anything involving science. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Let's just hope we don't have any more bad apple high schoolers like when Simon ruined the book fair. Don't worry, Miss Smith. As a big and responsible high schooler, I will make sure to tell on anyone who decides to ruin extracurricular activities. That's great. I'm so excited to see your guys' project. Well, would you look at that? The parents are arriving in five minutes. You two should probably go get ready. Next! Who the hell are you guys? Which kid is yours? Uh, kid, what do you mean? You fucking crackheads! This is a science fair! Um, we're here to see that Bill guy. What?! Oh, hey there, guys. These guys are fine, Mr. Pingas. They are just fans of my work. Uh, yes! We are huge fans. We want to enter the science fair. Oh! Why didn't you just say you were here to see Ben? He's the best and smartest kid that the school has ever seen! Come right on through, guys. Aren't you guys just so excited to see Ben's project? Uh, yeah, totally. What the hell is this? This doesn't look like any kind of operation. Where's our guy? He might be around here somewhere. Come on, let's go explore. Next visitor! Um, okay, which kids are yours? Well, Dusty, which kid is yours? Um, Donald. My son is Donald, and I'm super excited to see his project. Right. As it just so happens, I have met Donald's father. And although you guys are both slack-jawed idiots, you are definitely not him. Oh, uh, did he say son? Sorry. Pops here is getting a little loosey-goosey in the head. Donald is his nephew, and we are Donald's family. Yes, now let us in. We want to see the science fair. Shut up, Giovanni. Wow, you guys really came all the way out here to see that loser's science project? I can't believe that Donald is resorting to inviting a bunch of family voters so he can win. But whatever. Let me just say that Ben is totally gonna trounce him and everyone else. I hope you're ready to see those losers fail. <laughs> all right, Dusty. Lead us to those kids so we can get our product and leave this shithole. I've been hearing a lot of hype about this Ben kid. Maybe we should stick around to see his project? We need to get our product and get out of here. We aren't sticking around for this bullshit science fair. Come on. We need to get going before the show starts. All right, Dusty. You are the only one that knows what these kids look like. If we leave this school empty-handed, you are dead meat. Okay, guys, I have the schedule. It looks like Ben is going to go first, and then we will be up next. Of course they're making us go after that asshole. I guarantee you he went super try-hard mode. This is going to suck. Keep your head up, Donald. Let's just do the best we can and give it our all. We can do this, guys. We have the power of love and friendship on our side. All right, guys, you're right. We will do the best we can and show this gym the best candy that they've ever seen. Okay, Dusty. Time to use those yellow eyes of yours to find these stupid-ass kids. Be quick. We are two out in the open right now. Once we find him, you distract him. Giovanni and Callum will take the stuff. And as usual, I'm gonna sit back and watch because I'm the badass boss guy. Let's move. Yes, sir. Oh crap, the show must be starting. God damn it. Have you ever sat down and wondered to yourself, am I smart? Am I brave? Am I amazing and successful and responsible? Do all of the teachers and faculty love me? Well, there is one person in the room today that could say yes to all of these questions. No fucking way, they have a TV. Shh. Science has improved drastically over the last decade. You see, back then we were only able to measure physical things like weight, height, quantity, or even beauty. 
Nowadays, the realms of science have expanded so much. So now we can measure even greater things, like intelligence. Today, we would like to present to you a short documentary that we like to call The Science of Ben. What the fuck is this? What an amazing intro. That gave me shivers. I've always liked to think of myself as an overachiever. You know what I mean? I mean, I just have every making of a super smart and lovable kid. People come up to me all the time and say things like, wow, Ben, you're amazing. Or wow, Ben, how do you get all the girls to like you? Or things like, how do you balance being in almost every extracurricular activity at once? And sometimes I wonder, how do I do it? You see, through scientific analysis, we can do tests to measure IQ, also known as intelligence quotient. The higher IQ you have, the smarter you are. No one could believe it, a 250 IQ. For reference, the average IQ for the human race lies somewhere around 110. Monkeys aren't that far behind us, with them having an average IQ of 100. And if we go much lower on the scale, we can also see things like dogs, or elephants, or Donald and his loser friends. What the fuck is this? Shut up while he's presenting! Yeah, I know Ben. He's really amazing and cool and popular. Ben is such a sweetheart. He's so kind and loving to everyone he comes across and is so nice with the middle schoolers. That is absolute fucking cap. This isn't even science. Ben is quite literally the holy child of the field of education. He's just a natural born leader and he always helps me punish those naughty ass little gremlins. Perfect grades, involved in so many activities, only hangs out with cool kids and not some dumbass hooligans. You name it. Yes, I know Ben. He is really cool and funny. I love having him as my dad. He is the best dad ever. I hope that I grow up to be like Ben, but what am I saying? That's just impossible. Joe, what was that? I don't want to talk about it. Ten minutes later. I can't fucking believe it. How on earth does that qualify for a science project? Come on, guys, we're up next. Do you think we can win this? Seriously. At this point, we need to pray for a miracle to not be booed off stage. Hello everyone, today we have a presentation for you. And all I can say for sure is that it is the best presentation you'll ever see. Look, there he is, that's our guy. What should we do? Should we wait for him to be done presenting? Yeah, come on, let's get closer so we can jump him when he's done. Look, that's him. All right, we are not sitting through this. Everyone take their position and find a way to stop the show. Everyone loves candy. Candy is the best stuff in the world. So what if you took something that is already so amazing and had the- Who the hell is that? Ever. He's trying to take the product. Come on, we have to get there before he does. The candy we have created is truly one of a kind. It's Who the fuck are you? That product is mine. You aren't taking it. It seems to me candy. that this product is, is fair game for everyone. Like Shit, looks like someone else is here for it too. Fuck this, we outnumber them. Let's just go and get it. Our candy is truly one of a kind. Through the Wait, power of- stop it guys. Huh? What? Look, we know that our candy might not be the best candy in the world. We know. But maybe it's not about the candy. Maybe it's about the journey that it took us along the way. We have been through so much hardship to make this project, only for it to be average. But really, our science project isn't about that. It isn't about the science of the best candy in the world. It's about the science of friendship. Hello, everyone. Yes, it is me, the best and famous superstar student of all time. Before you vote tonight, I would just like to remind you that these boys are responsible for a number of atrocious acts at this school. So just think about that before you vote for the winner tonight. Good luck, boys. It seems you will not be defeating me. I guess your project sucks, just like you guys. Huh? A few moments later. That kid is kind of an asshole. Yeah, seriously. You know what? I think we have all been so blindsided by this product. Yeah, we definitely have. I can't even sleep at night without thinking about it. Maybe we can set a difference aside and help these kids out. Let's all vote for these kids and give them a happy ending. That ain't gonna do shit. Look at how many people there are. There's no way we could outnumber that asshole Ben Kid. Hmm, you know what? I have some friends in low places. Maybe I can help them out. I also happen to know some people. Well, Ben, 
It looks like this year won't be any different. Looks like you'll be the science fair champion for the fourth year in a row. It's an honor and a pleasure, but definitely not a surprise. Hey, is this where we vote? Um, yeah? Oh, that's great. We would all like to vote for Donald and his friends for his candy project. I want candy. What? Where did you all come from? These are just some friends of mine. Because at the end of the day, friends are what matter, right? Yeah, whatever. Nice try. This is nowhere near enough people to get Donald to win. They don't stand a chance. Hang on, bitch. What about our vote? This is a free country, bitch. What the fuck is happening? What nonsense is this? You guys are ruining the science fair. This is cheating. Cheating? No, this isn't cheating. This is friendship. And it's beautiful. By an overwhelming surge of last-minute voters, we now present to you this year's annual science fair champions. Haha, well, that's all of the Fred videos. Anyone else have any good YouTube suggestions? Ooh, can we watch that one video of the kid biting the finger? Dude, we literally watch that every time. I mean, come on, we must have seen it like 30 times by now. Hey, I know. Do you guys want to watch some scary ghost videos? Yeah, let's do it. No, no, I don't want to. Come on, Joe, quit being a little bitch. Come on, Joe, we can do this. Last time we did that, I wasn't able to sleep for a week. Oh my god, fine. Anyone else got any ideas? How about we watch some Minecraft parodies? We've seen all of them. How about we watch some PewDiePie? We've seen all of those, too. How about we watch some Smosh? We've seen all of them. Come on, guys. Isn't there anything new we can watch? Jesus Christ, do you guys have any level of volume control whatsoever? Screw off, Ben. Why don't you mind your own business? While you are in my household, you will not speak to me that way. Just because you're banging Joe's mom doesn't mean it's your household, dumbass. We're sorry, Ben. We don't want any problems. We promise we're being good. Yeah, we're just watching YouTube. Watching YouTube, huh? Well then, you have no excuse to be using your outdoor voices. Just leave, Ben. We're trying to brainstorm some new videos to watch and you're throwing us off. Ah, I see. So you guys need help finding a new video. Maybe I can help. I know of a very special video for you guys to watch. Well, spit it out already. Well, gee, I don't know. This video is only for big kids. I don't know if a bunch of loser middle schoolers are mature enough to handle it. What? That's Cap. We can totally handle it. Yeah, we can handle it. Just shut up and tell us what it's called. Very well, but don't say I didn't warn you. A few moments later... Why the hell did he set up a camera? Just roll with it, Donald. It's the only way he would agree to show us the video. That's right. If you guys want to watch this video, then I get to record it. That's the deal. Yay, this is so exciting. This video is about to be awesome. For real, I can't wait to see what all the big kids are watching. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just play the damn video. Very well. Here you go, boys. What the hell is this music? Is this a sad video? I don't want to watch it if it's sad. Be quiet, guys. Something's happening. Whoa. Well, what did you guys think of the video? Ha! Guess I was right. You little kids couldn't handle it. I guess this video is only meant for cool, big kid high schoolers like myself. Um... I, I think I'm gonna go home. Yeah. Me too. Um, well... I guess I'll see you guys at school tomorrow. Joe, may I please use your shower? All right, class. We have some new students here today. Okay. So I want everyone to be kind and respectful to them. Okay. 
Come on in, kiddos. Oh my god, these guys look like the biggest losers I have ever seen. I screw off, loser. Mr. Mackey, he's being mean to me. I think you should punish him. Hey, Mr. Teacher, is that how you people treat new guests? I think he deserves detention. Now hang on, kiddos. I'm sure we can work this out. Okay. Work it out with my ass. Mr. Mackey, are you gonna punish this loser or what? He is super mean and stupid. Fuck off, fat ass. Maybe you should get up off your ass and drink some water instead of drinking soda every day. In fact, I bet there's a giant pond under your seat from your sweat marks, so maybe you should just drink that. Listen here, Donald. While you're here, you are representing North Middle School. That means that your ass has to behave. Also, I noticed that the teacher's lounge doesn't have any snacks. What kind of bullshit is that? Where are you hiding the teacher snacks? Oh, uh, we don't have any teacher snacks. We have to pack our own food. Okay. That's fucking bullshit! Guess I gotta go to McDonald's for lunch. God damn it! Um, sir, may I please ask you to not swear in front of the children? They are very impressionable. Ha ha! Yeah, this is bullshit! Ha ha! I can say it because that guy said it! Are you seriously undermining my authority in front of the children? Where do you get off? I will say whatever I damn well please, and I don't work here, so good luck firing me. Ha! Now, if you'll excuse me, the teacher's lounge is calling my name. I'm gonna go kick back and watch the new season of Cops while your ass sits here and teaches these naughty ass kids. Hey guys, you ready for the school field trip? No, this is gonna suck. Why are they making us go to a boring nature park? I'm excited. I can't wait to see all the pretty trees and the giant mountains. We should have just gone to the zoo or the arcade or something. But no, this school is broke as hell. So they have to resort to taking us to the boring forest because they can't afford anything that's actually cool. Chill out, bro. This will be fun as long as we make it fun. Yeah, it ain't all that bad. I heard that the Rocky Mountains are pretty cool. All right, everyone, start lining up. Everyone's ass better be on that bus within the next five minutes or there will be hell to pay. A few moments later. Joe, scoot over. I have literally no room at all. I'm touching the window. I can't move over anymore. It's okay, Joe. It's not your fault. Donald is just a fat piece of garbage. Ha 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 ha! Good one, Vlad. Screw off, Vlad. It's because they made us sit in the handicapped seat. This is bullshit. They made you sit there because they know you'll need constant supervision because you are a pathetic little bus rat. Ha ha! No way! Another Vlad classic! I hope you brought a towel to clean up the ass sweat. This is going to be a long bus ride. Yeah, Donald, you're fat! Ha ha! You're an asshole, Vlad. From now on, I'm gonna make sure that all of my bus farts are pointed at you. All right, everyone! Shut the hell up! We have a super long bus ride ahead of us, and me and the bus driver need to stay focused on directions. So if any of you little assholes decide to bother us, it better be important. Later that day. Man, look at that. It's getting dark outside. For real. I wonder what kind of hotel we will be staying in. I hope they have a breakfast buffet. That would be pretty cool. Sorry to bring your hopes down, but they are making a stay at a Super 8 motel. Wow, that's gonna be so much fun. Do you think they have a pool? If they do, it'll be filled with cigarettes and condoms. We're staying in a motel? Is that even safe? Yeah, seriously. I feel like that wouldn't be safe for a bunch of kids. What was that? I think we ran over something. Ah, I have Dr. Pepper all over me. Sorry, Joe. It's not my fault. The dumbass bus driver hit something. What the fuck was that? What happened? I don't know. I think we must have hit a rock or something. God damn it! Of course! We're stuck. She won't turn over at all. Oh, for the love of God! Hang on while I get in contact with AAA! This is bullshit! All right, everyone! Looks like we will be sleeping on the bus tonight! This piece of shit bus won't start! Shut up! It's time to go to sleep! If anyone makes a fucking sound, I will make sure that they get detention for the rest of the year! All right, everyone, rise and fucking shine. I got in contact with Triple A, and the bus is fucking totaled. Therefore, we will no longer be going to the National Park. Oh, what? That's ass. This is so unfair. 
Yes, thank the heavens, this is a miracle! I'm not done talking yet! As I was saying, we are stuck here for a few days. But that doesn't mean that we should halt the beauty that is the American education system. Therefore, you guys will be attending school with the local population. What? You have to be fucking kidding me. We just sat in a bus for the last 24 hours only to go back to school? This is bullshit. Donald, I swear to fucking God, do not test me today. Now, everyone get off the bus. It's time to go to your new school for the next few days. Where are we? I wonder what this school is going to be like. Maybe we will make some new friends. Seriously, this is going to be bullshit. It doesn't matter where we are. It's still just going to be boring ass school. Hey, look, there's a sign over there. Wow, this school is so different. What the fuck are you talking about? This is literally exactly the same. Stupid ass teachers, evil cool kids, and a failing infrastructure. How the hell is it any different? Dude, why are you so heated? We literally just got here. Yeah, seriously. You're gonna be miserable if you're already complaining in the first hour of us being here. Hey guys, I have to go potty. Where's the potty at? How the hell are we supposed to know that? Please, please help. I really, really need to go. It's an emergency. Oh, for crying out loud, can you please not make a scene? Just go ask someone, Joe. Everyone here seems pretty nice. Oh, God. Okay, fine. I'm not even joking. He literally took a shit inside Mr. Garrison's lunchbox. Oh, my God. Seriously? Cartman is such an asshole. Hey, uh, excuse me. Do you know where the potty is? <laughs> Hey, um, excuse me. Can you please tell me where the restroom is? It's an emergency. Hey, um, excuse me. Can you please tell me where the restroom is? It's an emergency. Well, sure. I can help you. Follow me. A few moments later. Feel better? Much better. Thank you. Well, of course. My name is Butters, by the way. What's yours? Hi, Butters. I'm Joe. It's nice to meet you, Butters. It's nice to meet you, too, Joe. Hey, um, do you maybe want to... Uh... Do you want to be friends? Yeah. I'd like that. Let's be friends. Yes, this is awesome. I made a new friend. Hey, me too. Woohoo! Do you want to see my collection of roses? Wow, you collect roses? Me too. Really? I've never met anyone else who collects roses before. Me neither. I'm always afraid to tell people because I'll get bullied. Wow, really? I'm sorry, Joe. I promise that as long as we're friends, I'll never even think about bullying you. Thanks, Butters. Me neither. So, what do you guys think of the new kids? I don't know. They seem chill, I guess. Bro, seriously? Those guys are the biggest losers I have ever seen. Did you see that one Donald kid? He is so fat. So fat that it made me want to cry. Dude, you are literally a fat ass. You have no right to call someone fat. I'm not fat, Kyle. I'm big boned. Cartman, we barely know these people at all. Maybe they're cool. Why don't you try actually being nice and friendly and giving them a shot? Yeah, seriously, dude. Maybe they're cool and we can hang out with them. I'm calling it now. Just you guys wait. I can already tell that these guys are total buttheads. Did you not see how that Donald kid was yelling at me? Quit being a dumbass, Cartman. You literally started that. Shut up, Jew. Kyle is right. Literally, the first thing you said to them was that they were losers. <laughs> how about instead of being an asshole, you actually give them a shot as human beings? Ooh, I have an even better idea. What if we pull a massive prank on them? Like sneaking laxatives into their lunches? Dude, seriously? We would get into so much trouble if we did that. Did you literally hear nothing that I just said? Kyle, my friend, we know that you don't want to do my ultimate prank idea, but please don't ruin it for the rest of us. 
dude, I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> Come on, Stan. Are you really gonna trust Kyle the Jew? We should all pull an ultimate prank on them, and Kyle can sit out because he's a little bitch. Screw you, Cartman. If you pull anything on the new kids, I'm gonna tell the teachers. Come on, guys. We gotta get to class. A few moments later. Okay, class. Our new students will be joining us today. They might be a little shy, so today we are going to get you guys into partners and play a game to break the ice with the new kids. Oh god, this is gonna suck! Can we just pick our partners? Yeah, seriously, you better not put me with that fat piece of shit. Uh, shut up, fat ass! Stop calling me fat! Donald, Cartman, let's behave. Don't make me call your parents. What the hell can you even do? My parents live several hours away. Please call them so they can pick me up. Oh yeah, that's right. Hey, where the hell are you kids staying anyways? That's just gonna be a plot hole that we have to live with. Huh, well alright then. Okay kids, I am now going to announce the partners. If you don't like them, you can blame randomlistgenerator.com. So don't come at me. Oh god, please god. Just don't put me with that worthless Donald kid. Or Kyle. I promise you'll be a good boy for a whole hour if you can do this for me. Amen. Shut up, Cartman. You'd be lucky to have me as a partner. Oh my god, guys. If you guys don't want to play Kahoot, we can just do a pop quiz instead. Everyone, please be quiet. Okay, here are the partners. George, you're going to be with Kenny. What's up, bro? <laughs> well, this will be easy since neither of us talk much. Obama, you're going to be with Stan. Hey, bro. What's up, man? Donald, you're going to be with Butters. Thank God. Nice. That one pairing knocked out two shitty partners. Hang on, Mr. Garrison. Are you sure I can't be with Joe? Me and him are friends now. Sorry, Butters. I already wrote this list on Google Docs, and I'm too lazy to change it. Joe is going to be with Cartman. Oh, my God. Please don't put me with that loser. Hey, what? Please put me with Butters. Please, Mr. Garrison. Please! Shut up, guys. Cartman and Donald, you boys better behave, or else I'm going to have you two sent to the principal's office. Okay! I'm not going to bother announcing everyone else, since you guys don't matter that much and don't have names. Begin! How the hell does this game even work? You didn't even tell us the rules. It's simple. A question will appear on the board, and each group who gets it right will receive a point. Each group who gets it wrong will get zero points. It's pretty fucking simple, if you ask me. I don't want to play this stupid game! Can we just watch a video or something? Yes, yeah, seriously, no one cares about this shit. Alright, that's it, you two. Looks like I'm gonna need some backup. A few moments later... What the fuck is going on here? These kids aren't listening. I was hoping you could smack some sense into them since some of these are your kids. Sure thing! Donald, Joe, Obamna, and George, sit down, shut up, and play the fucking Kahoot game! You're lucky you're doing this instead of a quiz. And by the way, the grades you get at this school will carry over when we go back to North Middle School. So you guys better fucking behave and learn the fucking curriculum like good little boys! Fuck this, this is bullshit. All right, let me pull up a seat. Looks like this is going to need some extra supervision. Oh my god, that guy's so lame. Okay, class, first question. Who was the first president of the United States? Oh, this is so easy. George Washington. Pick George Washington. Wait, are you sure? Yes, dumbass. George Washington. Pick George Washington. Oops. I'm sorry, Donald. My finger slipped and I picked the wrong one. God damn it. I swear to God, Joe, just pick George Washington. I don't know how this thing works. I don't know computers. Oh my fucking God. Why do I have to get this special needs kid as my partner? Hmm, that's an easy one. George Washington. Yep, I just picked it. Nice. Okay, next question. This one's going to be a little bit harder. Which Mesopotamian farming technique was most used in the southern regions of what is now modern-day Iraq? What? What kind of fucking question is that? How the hell are we supposed to know that? Which one do I pick? Which one do I pick? Come on, guys! We literally went over this last week. Do I need to call your parents and get you guys more Adderall for you guys to finally sit down and listen? Come on, dumbass! You're supposed to know this? He said you guys went over it! I don't remember, I don't remember. Oh my god, I give up! We have no shot of winning this shit with my stupid-ass teammate! Fuck this, time's running out, just pick a random one. Um, okay, fine! God damn it! Pick one already, come on! Dude, are you actually serious right now? Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Yep, Donald and that other kid are in last fucking place. What's fucking new? Okay, looks like everyone got that one except for Donald's team and Cartman's team. God damn it. This is horse shit. 
Next question. What is the order of operations for PEMDAS? Come on, dude. Come on. Which one is it? Um, um, I don't know. Can you help me out? My expertise is in team motivation, not stupid, boring math. Come on already. Pick one. Hey, wait. I think I know this one. Parachute expert, my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses. Exponents. Multiplication. Division. Addition. Subtraction. I don't give a damn. Just click it. Yes, we got it. We are geniuses. Um, uh... God damn it. Screw this. I'm not playing anymore. Ha! Looks like someone's mad because they're losing. This isn't even my fault. My partner is useless. Yeah, well, so is mine. Can't we all just get along? Please stop yelling. I get scared easily and I have anxiety. Shut, Shut up. up! All right! I think we should make this more interesting. After this game, everyone will receive candy except for the team that's in last place. Maybe that will straighten you guys up and finally program you guys into the American education system. Candy, you say? That candy is mine. Next question. Who was the Princess of England in 1854? All right, come on, I want that candy. Please tell me you actually know this one. Um, well, I... I don't know this one. Ooh, I know this one. Easy, Princess Alexandrina Victoria of Kent. How the hell did you know that? I love princesses, they're so pretty. I can actually name every single princess in the history of England and France. Cool! Whatever, loser! Now we just have to make sure that Donald and Butters get it wrong! Oh my fucking god, what kind of fucking questions are these? Is this math class or history class? This is bullshit! Joe, help me out, which one is it? Gee, I don't know, Donald. Cartman said I'm not supposed to tell you. Are you seriously gonna listen to that fat ass? Come on, we've been friends since second grade. Give me the damn answer. Don't do it, Joe. We're a team, right? Joe, come on. Time's running out. Spit it out. Joe, I swear to God, I will embarrass you every single day for the rest of your time here if you give him the answer. Don't listen to him, Joe. He's just being a sore loser. I have connections, Joe. I have people I can call. Decide wisely. Okay, it, it's Princess Victoria of Kent. God damn it! Are you actually serious right now? Thanks, bro. All right, Butters. You heard the guy. Oops! I picked the wrong one. I'm sorry. Can we still be friends? Ha! Classic Butters! That's my boy! Alright, looking good. Looks like Stan and Obama are in the lead. They haven't missed a single question yet. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's take a look at our losers. Oh, look at that! Donald and Cartman are tied for last fucking place. What a surprise! I guess one of you won't be getting candy. Okay, last question. This one is for all the marbles. That's right! This is the big one! Time to see which pair of kids has the least amount of brain cells. Also, I just decided that the ultimate loser is also gonna have to see me after class. Let that sink in while you answer this next Kahoot question. You guys have made what was supposed to be a simple Kahoot game a fucking disaster. Back in the days of ancient Rome, Alexander the Great was a mighty conqueror who took over half of Europe. Historians nowadays believe that he was actually buried alive. He had a condition that made him completely paralyzed, yet fully mentally aware of his surroundings and what was going on. What was the medical condition that he had that caused this freak accident? What the fuck kind of question is that? We are fucking doomed. I heard that. You guys were very disrespectful today, during class. That Kahoot game should have taken like 15 minutes. We set you guys up with the special needs students because we trusted you guys. Clearly you guys are offensive and excluding them in our curriculum studies. What do you guys have to say for yourselves? Wait, what? Joe is retarded? Haha, <laughs> that makes so much sense now. We do not use the R word in this school. You will apologize to the special kids and you're gonna do their homework for a week. Hang on a second, Joe is not retarded. Who the hell told you that? Butters, on the other hand, I would totally believe that. What did I just say about using the R word? You guys will not get away with this offensive and exclusionary behavior. Oh my god, dude. Calm the hell down. Your breath stinks, man. Did you just call me man? I'll have you know that I identify as panglacial they them pronouns. Educate yourself before coming to South Park Elementary, dude. Yeah, totally. Whatever that means, I think it's also worth mentioning that they totally fucking sucked at Kahoot! They literally got none of the questions right! They made their pathetic fucking partners do all the work! How dare you, Donald! How dare you represent the glory of North Middle School in such a horrendous light! It's not my fault my partner was a total moron. He didn't know anything. Your partner was a moron? Try being with that loser Joe kid! 
He was so stupid that we missed a bunch of questions because he didn't know how to use the damn computer! Oh my fucking god! I cannot handle this offensive language! I thought you guys were better than this! I'll have you know that I've been recording with my iPhone this whole time, and I will make sure that TikTok finds out about this! Prepare for the sheep to sink their mighty horns into you guys! I'm gonna sit this one out, Mr. Pingus! I am just so ultimately triggered that I am literally shaking right now! I think I might be having an anxiety attack! I'll leave these assholes to you! Well, clearly you guys are in trouble for making fun of the special kids! The incompetent school board never told me about Joe's condition, but whatever! I guess that's what we're gonna roll with! You guys are hereby in trouble for making fun of and excluding the special needs kids! Ha! Are you fucking serious? I've been partners with Joe several times. Ain't no way that he's as special and useless as Butters. Not true. Not true. Butters could run mental laps on that Joe kid. I think I'm gonna agree with Cartman on this one. In fact, I've been trying for months to get all four of you into the special needs classes. Why hasn't the school reached out to your useless father yet? That's total bullshit. You can't do that. My dad will sue you. Seriously? Your dad would never get his ass off the couch unless there's a sweet and shiny Modelo waiting for him. Okay, I'm back. I have officially overcame my trigger attack, and we can now start to hand out punishments. Maybe we should hire some specialists for these naughty kids. Just like you were telling me about Donald, Cartman has also been a problem time and time again. Perhaps we don't have the necessary medical license to deal with these types of children. Maybe it's time to call in a specialist. As a matter of fact, Mr. Principal, I couldn't agree with you more. That's exactly why I took it upon myself to bring reinforcements. Oh God, please tell me you didn't bring Ben. Who the hell is Ben? Ben is the best and greatest student that North Middle School has ever seen. And as much as I love and admire Ben and his triumphant standing as an excellent student, he was busy today with his karate tournament. I brought in someone else, someone that holds a very special place in my heart. Back in the day when he was in the middle school, he was my favorite student. He was the coolest and best student that the school had ever seen. All of the teachers adored him. All of the girls loved him. All of the boys want to be him. There was simply no student even close to his social standing at the school. Hey bro, you want to go to Game Surge with me this weekend? I heard that there is a new Star Wars Battlefront game coming out on the Xbox. No way. Really? That's finally out? I heard that they added space battles to that one. Yo, dude, what's up? Why are you out of breath, dude? He's coming! Run away! He's coming! Dude, what? What are you talking about? Oh god, here he comes again! I gotta get out of here! Dude, what? What the heck was that about? What's up, losers? Looks like my prey ran away. Time for a beatdown! No, please don't hurt us. We don't have anything. Our hands are dry. Nice try. I know you have some lunch money for me. I saw your mom's give it to you this morning. Please, Samuel, please. Lunch money now, or else I'm gonna pound your ass. Okay, here it is. Just please leave me alone. Come on, hand it over, loser. Oh god, I promised my dad I wasn't gonna cry this week. Ha! Huh, what a day to be cool and popular. Now I have ten dollars. Maybe I could make a living off of torturing losers. In all of my years in the education system, he truly stood as the most classy, cool kid of all time. Wow, look at how much money you made today. Oh, uh, hey dude, I wasn't expecting to see you here. What's up, my man? Yeah, save the pony boy stuff for the locker room. I'm here to collect my money. You saw that group text I sent this morning, right? All cool and popular kids are supposed to give me half of their earnings this week. Oh, gee, uh... Half? Don't you think that's a lot? I had to trip up a lot of losers for this money. Yeah, so, uh... I'm not gonna ask you again. Give me the fucking money. Oop. Sorry, guys. Just gotta sneak in here and get something from my locker. Oof. 
Look, man, I'm not scared of you. I spend all day pummeling losers. That shit ain't gonna scare me. Oh. So you don't want to listen to me, huh? Well, maybe I can help. Taste the special sauce. Gah! It burns! Just remember who's on top from now on. I understand. I understand. Here, take all the money. Just please don't tell my girlfriend about this. He was simply the coolest kid during his time at North Middle School. And miraculously, even after all these years, he just so happened to be in the area for a camping trip. We are blessed to have him come and visit this dump of a school and help be a leading role model to you nasty-ass kids. Previously on The Presidents. Hey guys, you ready for the school field trip? No, this is gonna suck. Why are they making us go to a boring nature park? Joe, scoot over. I have literally no room at all. I'm touching the window. I can't move over anymore. We're stuck. She won't turn over at all. We are stuck here for a few days. But that doesn't mean that we should halt the beauty that is the American education system. You guys will be attending school with the local population. We've been stuck at this school for the last few days. Donald isn't taking it very well. My parents live several hours away. Please call them so they can pick me up. It's not my fault my partner was a total moron. He didn't know anything. No one cares about this shit. Fuck this, this is bullshit. That's total bullshit, you can't do that. My dad will sue you. It seems that Mr. Pingus is taking every opportunity to get us in trouble, especially now that the school board isn't around to stop him. Looks like this is going to need some extra supervision. You guys are hereby in trouble for making fun of and excluding the special needs kids. Kids. Ha! I guess one of you won't be getting candy. On the bright side, at least Joe made a new friend. Hi, Butters. I'm Joe. It's nice to meet you, Butters. It's nice to meet you too, Joe. Do you want to be friends? I'd like that. Now it seems that some cool kid from many years ago is coming to help punish all of the kids. This should be interesting. Those fucking idiots! Why couldn't they just sit down and play the damn Kahoot game? Seriously, this always happens with Donald. He always gets in trouble. Same thing with Cartman. He's always bad-mouthing the teachers and being an asshole. Do you guys think they are going to get detention? Probably. That teacher guy of yours is ridiculous. Does he always cuss in front of students like that? Yeah, that's pretty normal. Yeah, that guy hates our guts. He always gives us detention. Hang on a second. I'm so confused. Is he the principal? No, he's not the principal. So what is he then? He's a teacher? I thought he was your guys' principal, from the way he's acting. Well, it's kind of weird. He was the principal, but then he got fired. And then he got rehired as a janitor. Oh, okay, so he's a janitor then. No, not exactly. Not anymore. Yeah, we don't really know exactly what he does. I guess he's just some sort of school helper or something. I don't really know. No, he's not a school helper. He isn't really anything. Oh, what's up, Kim? What's up, Andrew? What's up, man? Mr. Pingus isn't really a helper. He isn't even supposed to be working at the school, but he threatened to sue the school if they fired him. So now he literally sits down every day and just yells at the kids. Yeah, literally all that guy does is hang out in the teacher's lounge eating pizza and watching cops. Seriously? He was gonna sue the school? On what grounds? Discrimination. Huh? What exactly is he? Yeah, we don't really know. Yeah, it's really weird, but he's been around since the second episode, and he's Splooge's favorite character, so he's going to be sticking around, unfortunately. Why is it always you that gets to break the fourth wall? It's so unfair. That was really scary. Everyone in that class was so angry at me. Yeah, same here. I feel kind of bad that I let Donald down. He was really disappointed that I didn't know the answers. Yeah, same. Cartman was really mad at me. I felt like crying the whole time, but I didn't want to get embarrassed. Wow, really? I felt like crying too, but I didn't want to tell anyone because I thought they would make fun of me. Let's make a promise. As long as we are friends, we will never bully each other, okay? Yeah, that sounds great. Let's promise each other that we can tell each other anything and we won't bully each other. 
Yeah, I like that. Um, can I tell you a secret? Of course, Joe. You can tell me anything. Well, it's just that... I really feel a connection with you and... <clears throat> Sorry. Don't be. I have a secret too, Joe, if I'm being honest. Really? What is it? How about we tell each other our secrets at the same time? Okay, yeah, I like that. Okay, here it goes. Three, two, one. You're, You're my, my best, best friend, friend Joe. Wow, wow, really? You mean it? Whoa, what was that? Did you feel that? Yeah, it just got really cold in here. I feel something. I feel something dark. I feel it too. I feel a sudden lack of hope. What's this feeling? I feel like the happy little rose inside of me just shriveled up and died. What the heck? Who are you? Oh God, it's a demon. Ha ha ha, that's cute. Anyways, my name's Charlie. Uh, I've been brought to the school today because I'm being told that you guys have been very naughty. What? No, we aren't doing anything. Please, I promise we are being good. Yeah, I don't think so. You see, I went to North Middle School a long time ago. I've heard a lot about you, Joe. Mr. Pingus has told me all of the stories. What is a member of the Cool Kids alumni like me supposed to do when he encounters someone with such a strong loser energy like you? Ah, oh, yes, I can feel it in my veins. I am so cool and popular and amazing, and you are so dumb and stupid and pathetic. Our energies could not be more uneven. What, what, what do you mean? Um, do you know this guy? What is he talking about? Hmm, yes, I can feel it in your chakras. It's the same feeling a lion gets right before he's about to devour his prey. It's the same feeling a policeman gets right before he's about to capture the bad guy. It's the feeling a mighty firefighter feels right before he's about to put out a ferocious fire. Please, I beg of you, please. We're just talking. We aren't doing anything wrong. Just leave us alone, in fact. We will leave you alone. We will stay out of your way. Yes, we mean it. We'll stay out of your way. I'm getting really nervous. I really don't want any trouble. Just leave us be. Uh, ha, ha. You're making this a lot more enjoyable for me. I thank you. You see, although I graduated many, many years ago, um, one thing has still remained from my schooling years. That hunger. That critical urge to feed on those who are weak and frail. It's been too long. I can now feed and prey on those who are pathetic and vulnerable once again. Prepare yourselves, boys. I'm going to enjoy this. Ah, oh God, it burns. Oh yes, I can feel it in my bones. I am such a good and leading role model. This is all your fault. Ever since I came to this school, you've been a total asshole to me. My fault? Dude, you can't be actually serious. You've been a total asset to me and my friends and yelled at me and called me fat. This is what I think of your opinion. Holy shit, dude! What the hell did you eat? Why does it smell like radishes and ketchup? Blame it on your shitty school lunch. Your school is so poor that they put Vienna sausages on the pizza instead of pepperoni. Screw you, fat ass! Two can play at that game! Holy mother of God, did that really just come from a human? That's right, loser! Don't start a battle that you can't win! Well, kids, our special guest has arrived! Charlie is finally here, and he is going to undo all of the insurrection that you guys have caused! And guess what? The school board isn't here to stop me! Dude, no one gives a shit about your little pet boy! Yeah, seriously, are we really supposed to be scared of some guy that peaked in middle school? I mean, come on! How pathetic is that?! Just you wait! Things are going to be different around here! And if Charlie proves to be useful to the establishment, then maybe I can convince the school board to hire him as a naughty child punisher! So, girl, what do you say? Shall Vladimir take the honor of having your first kiss? Gee, Vlad, I don't know. I'm sure you must have heard of me. I'm the most popular kid in the middle school. I'm the only one that is suitable to take the flower from your lips. It's true! Vlad is so cool and amazing. You guys should totally kiss. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Well, gee, I don't know. I 
kind of like Stan. I don't think he would be okay if my first kiss was from someone from a different school and all. At the very moment that our lips make contact, you will instantly solidify your position as the most popular girl in your school. Allow me to give you this treasure. Yeah, seriously. It's like he's handing you a lottery ticket and you're turning it down. If I was a chick, I would totally be making out with Vlad all the time. Okay, maybe later. I really gotta get going to class, but I'll think about it, okay? God damn it, Kevin. Are you fucking serious right now? What? What's wrong? I am literally the coolest and smartest kid in the middle school. I don't need you ruining my game. Hello there. Hello, I don't believe I've seen you before. The name's Charlie. Maybe you've heard of me. I went to North Middle School several years ago. Huh? Seriously? No way. I've heard all of the stories about you. You were the coolest and best kid in the middle school. I heard that you gave out 159 wedgies just during your 8th grade year. I also heard that you took not one, but two chicks to the school dance. Yes, it is I, the most badass middle schooler to ever exist. Wow, it is truly an honor to be in the presence of someone who has truly made North Middle School history. Please shut the fuck up. I've heard a lot about you, Vlad. Coolest kid in the middle school. As well as having the most number of girls kissed in the middle school, even surpassing me. Yes, the rumors are true. It is an honor to meet one of the greats. Likewise. I've been brought here to be a good role model and crack down on these pathetic losers. Perhaps you and your slave can join me in my conquest. Ah, I see. I would be honored to torture and make fun of the worthless losers with none other than a legend such as yourself. Aw, oh, hell yeah! This is gonna be so cool! I can't believe I get to hang out with the cool big kids! The next day... Hey, what's up, guys? Not much. Just another day. I'm so fucking tired of that Donald kid! He keeps getting me in trouble! Dude, are you seriously still beefing with that kid? Yes, Kyle! He's a fucking asshole! He literally took a shit in my face yesterday! He what? Dude, you are being ridiculous. It's not like they're even gonna be here that long. Just be cool with them instead of creating useless drama for yourself. You don't understand, bro. I hate him so much. I don't know what it is, but something inside of me tells me that he is my mortal enemy. It's like I was meant to hate him from the very beginning. That's why I called him a fat ass. Can't you guys understand that? No, dude. Get over yourself and quit being an asshole. Guys, guys! Oh, hey, what's up, Butters? I'm afraid to go to school today. I don't want to go. Can someone come tell my parents that I was puking at the bus stop? Dude, what? What's wrong, Butters? It's Charlie. He keeps bullying me and my friend. I don't know what to do. Charlie? Who the heck is Charlie? I think he's me. Oh, I know that guy. He's some loser asshole who came from that other school. They brought him here to punish me and Donald. I'm being serious, guys. You should believe me. Every single kid from that school is a fucking loser and should not be trusted. What? Are you serious? Who even is this guy? No idea. I never actually met him. Just heard that old guy Dick riding him, that's it. He's really scary. He's a demon. He gave me and Joe wedgies. And I know that if we go back to school today, he's gonna do it again. Seriously? He gave you guys wedgies? That's absurd. How old even is this guy? I don't really know. I think he was a grown-up, though. He said he was graduated and all that. Oh my god, seriously? That's child abuse! Well, well, well. Looks like maybe you guys should have agreed to my ultimate prank idea. Seriously? You're still on about that shit? How about we tell the cops? Yeah, that's harassment. We should tell the cops instead. Hey, look, over there. It's Officer Barb Brady. Go tell him, Butters. Yeah, go tell him and see if you can pursue legal action. Um, well, are you sure? What if we pull a massive prank on the cop and say that the principal raped me? Dude, shut up. Come on, Butters. Go tell the cop about the wedgies, and maybe we can get him kicked out. Well, uh, all right then. Oh, for the love of God, this town is so boring. Can't we just see police brutality or something to spice things up? Um, hi, officer. Oh, hey there, kiddo. What's up? Shouldn't you be waiting for the bus? Yeah, well, um, I was just hoping I could get some help with something. Oh, sure thing. What's the matter, kiddo? Well, it's just that. You see, I've been getting bullied a lot at school recently. Oh, what? I'm sorry about that, kiddo. Want me to put my big handcuffs on him? Ha ha! Well, actually, yes. I was hoping you could arrest him since he gave me a wedgie at school. Huh? No way! A wedgie? Oh, man. I've had so many of those back in my time. Don't worry about it. 
The rashes go away in a few days or so. Yeah, so, um, can you maybe arrest him? His name is Charlie and he's really mean to me. What? Surely you don't mean that new school visitor. He's a good kid and he's coming to straighten up the naughty kids. You're not a naughty kid, are you? Otherwise, I might have to arrest you. What? No! I'm not! Sorry I said anything. I'll just be going now. Later that day. God, I'm so sick of this lame-ass school. I never thought I would miss North Middle School, but today I stand corrected. This school is a steaming pile of shit. Personally, I'm still trying to figure out why they put us with all of these fourth graders. Oh yeah, that's right. Shouldn't they have put us in the middle school? I mean, we are in seventh grade for Pete's sake. Don't you guys get it? They only did it to embarrass us. This whole fucking thing is one giant joke. What's up, Joe? Where have you been? Me and Butters were whispering secrets to each other and talking about our crushes in the bathroom. Um, okay. That's incredibly gay. Yeah, that's a little more than we needed to know. Guys, guys, your friend is in danger. What? What are you talking about? It's Andrew. I think Charlie got to him. Are you fucking serious? I've never met that guy, but from what I've heard, he's a total tool. Come on, you guys gotta come see. Dude, what happened to you? Are you okay? Who did this? Shh, he's still here. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Charlie. You're a bitch, that's what you are. What the hell did you do? All we did was spread law and order. We caught Andrew trying to stick gum on a locker and punished him accordingly. Under our watch, misbehavior will not be tolerated. God damn it, you won't get away with this. Silly child, I already did. That's right! According to my expert and trusted grown-up witness report, Andrew was sticking gum on the locker, and then when Charlie yelled at him, he slipped and fell into the trash can. It's that simple. You guys are evil. You can't do this. What's the point of all of this? You're leaving our school in a few days either way. You can't hurt us. Are you sure about that, Kyle? Oh my god, they killed Kenny. You guys are fucking worthless! All those who have sinned against the school will pay for their misdeeds. There will be no free passes. There has been zero misbehavior since Charlie came. I think the school board would love to have you come work at the school, Charlie. And once you join the teachers' union, you will be untouchable. Holy shit, looks like someone should have stayed home today. Oh my fucking god, is that you, Donald? Mind your own damn business. No fucking way, is that Cartman? No wonder your defecation smells like rotten sloppy Joe. Just screw off, this is the only hour that I get to myself. I literally put the caution tape on the bathroom door, why the hell did you come in here? You kidding me? I always go to the bathroom when it has tape on it. Lonely shits are the most peaceful shits. Wow, really? You do that too? Hell yeah, I even have my own roll of caution tape. What? No way, dude! That is so fucking badass! I still hate your guts, but I'll admit that's pretty cool. Hey, what can I say? Great minds think alike, I suppose. Haha, <laughs> hell yeah, dude! Yo, what's that smell? It smells like mint. Oh, that's my jewel you're smelling. You wanna try it? Your what? Hey, listen bro, that Charlie kid, he needs to be stopped. Yeah, you're telling me that guy is a total fucking asshole, and all of my friends are too pussy to do anything about it. 
Same dude. All my friends want to do is tell the teachers, but they don't do jack shit. Yes, seriously. At my school, the teachers absolutely hate me, so I always have to fend for myself. All right, dude. Since you're not being a total dickbag right now, let me tell you something. I am planning on pulling a massive prank on that Charlie and Vlad kid. No way. That sounds so epic. I'm totally in. Well, hang on. It's not quite ready yet. I still have a few loose screws, and I was hoping you could help me. A few moments later. Ah, uh, yes, I see. You'll need a special chemical for this operation, but it's not easily available to the public. We will need to find a way to get it. God damn it, I was really hoping you would come in clutch and just have some of this. Sorry, bro. I can't always be the miracle solution guy, but I'm telling you that this is totally possible. We just need to get a special chemical. All right, just tell me what it's called. I'll make my mom go to Walmart when I get home. The next day. Boys, I cannot thank you enough. I never knew what was possible when it came to extreme behavior in the education system. You guys truly are one-of-a-kind students. Please feel free to come back anytime. That's right! That's why I think it's about time you guys have earned a reward! Ooh, a reward? Yes, now I can consider myself a professional cool kid since I'm getting paid. Welcome to the high life, bud. This is what it's all about. Yes! Me and Mr. Pingus have taken the liberty of ordering us two McDonald's dinner boxes! Yup! Dig in, guys! But I call at least two Big Macs. Save me two Big Macs and you guys can eat anything else. I just want two Big Macs and one of the fries. Sure thing, Mr. Pingus. We appreciate this reward. Wait! Hang on! I haven't even gotten to the best part yet! This fucking bitch loser was caught being 30 seconds late to class. So as punishment, he is going to be skipping recess and watching us enjoy our delicious McDonald's. Screw you guys. This is stupid as hell. Shut up, loser. You want a french fry? Just kidding. No food for the naughty loser. Ha <laughs> <laughs> good one, Charlie. Perhaps you can have my burger crusts once I am finished with them. I know that I am not noble or cool or popular enough to have earned a share of the feast. But I just wanted to thank you guys for letting me be a part of this and helping me to build a bright future for myself. Hey, can you please not talk? Vlad, do you always let this kid speak out of order? Do you guys believe in fate? Whoa there, pal! I believe that we made it clear that you're not allowed to talk. Now shut up and watch us enjoy this McDonald's! That's right. Keep eating. Eat every last scrap. But just be careful, for someone with genius intellect may have teamed up with an unstoppable force that has contaminated your food. What the hell is this kid talking about? You shouldn't be talking, young man! What the actual fuck? What the hell are you kids doing here? Oh, nothing. We just thought we would join in on your little party. Yeah, totally. We even got you guys a surprise. What the fuck are you talking about? You guys are intruders. Leave now. You're only embarrassing yourself. Here in a second, it will be you guys who will be embarrassed. With my extreme intellect and cunning, teamed up with my friends, quick thinking and resolve, your entire meal has been poisoned by an extreme chemical. What? What are you talking about? Ha! Right! And what exactly did you put in our food? That's for us to know and you to find out. Everyone buckle up! It's about to get super steamy in here! <laughs> we totally got you guys. Ha! Huh, you guys totally just shit everywhere. <laughs> yeah! You know, Donald, maybe you aren't so bad. I could actually foresee myself not totally hating your guts for the rest of my life. Ah, oh, shucks. Thanks, man. Same to you. Who knows? Maybe you guys will be back sometime? Ooh, or maybe I could use this photo to blackmail the principal and make him arrange a field trip to your school. Yeah, uh, maybe. Or maybe this is sort of just a one-time thing, you know? Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess you're right. Man, what a shitty ending.
Okay, boys, our giant food volcano is almost done. We just need to add ketchup for the lava. Oh, shoot, I think we ran out of ketchup. How about we use hot sauce instead? Wait, I'm saving the hot sauce for the Tom Yum soup I'm making. No one cares about your stupid soup. Come on, we need it for the volcano. Okay, fine. Nice, look at our ultimate creation. Now for the real question, who's gonna eat it? Ha <laughs> ha, gross. Ain't no way am I eating that. I dare Joe to eat it. What? No, I don't want to. Um, I'm already full. That is absolute cap. All you had was a go-gurt. Come on, Joe, eat it already. No, I'm not gonna eat it, please. You don't have to eat it, Joe, but this food volcano was your idea. Hey, I'll eat it. No, no, Joe has to eat it because this was his idea. This wasn't my idea. I was talking about volcanoes, and then you dumped all of my food onto the table, and then I said it looks like a volcano. Okay, new idea. If you don't want to eat it, then you have to do something else of our choosing. This is so unfair. Ooh, I have an idea. Go tell Edna that the food sucks. No, I don't want to do that. I'll get in trouble. Hey, look over there. It's Hillary. Haha, <laughs> yes, you have to go ask out Hillary. Yes, bro, you should totally ask her out. You guys think she would say yes? You never know, man. I think she just broke up with Damon. I bet you might have a shot. Exactly. I know you guys have a weird history, but you should never give up on your dreams. Yeah, maybe you could ask her to the play this weekend. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of nervous. Can someone come with me? Come on, dude. Girls can smell fear. If you want her to say yes, you have to be brave and confident. <sighs> okay. I can do this. Um... I am brave, I'm confident. She totally likes me, I can do this. Hey, Hillary. Oh, uh, hey, Joe. So, how's life? Oh, you know, just live in the dream. Ha ha, yeah, totally. I wonder what it's like to be popular like you, ha ha. Um, yeah, so, uh, did you need something? Come on, Joe, you can do this. Just say something, anything. Um, crap, I think I ran out of things to say. What should I do? Um, Joe? Crap, I'm just standing here. How long has it been? I need to force something out of my mouth or else she will think I'm weird. Um, so, how is Damon doing? What? Um, I don't know. A little birdie told me that you two are not together anymore. I guess I just wanted to confirm the rumors. Yeah, him and I broke up last week. He is one of the most popular guys in the school, and he's a captain of the football team. It was just getting to be too much for me, you know? No way, it's true. She finally broke up with the big smelly jock. This is a miracle. This is my chance. I have to say something. Okay, here it goes. So, um, Hillary, do you maybe want to go out this way? Move out of the way, scrub. Did I really just see you talking to my dear, sweet Hillary? Ugh, just leave us alone, Damon. We aren't together anymore. We broke up last week, remember? Hey, baby, come on now. I thought we made it clear that we were just taking a break. We're still exclusive, right? I don't know, Damon. Can we just talk about this later, in private? Hillary, I am one of the most popular guys in the school. Do you really want to wait any longer? What if another girl interests me by then? <sighs> Gee, I don't know, Damon. What the hell are you doing talking to this loser? Isn't this the kid that kept pissing his pants last year? Hey, my doctor said I have a loose bladder. I can't help it. Ha ha ha, right. Whatever you say, pea brain. Why don't you go back to the loser table and hang out with your goblin friends? I'm busy talking to the lady right now. Um, well, uh, maybe I should just go back to the table. This isn't worth it. Uh-oh, I smell trouble. Looks like Damon is interrupting Joe's game with Hillary. Oh God, what an asshole. That dude is all muscle and no brains. Come on guys, we gotta go help him out. Are you sure? That'll only create more trouble. Maybe we should just let it die down. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea, Andrew. That has detention written all over it. He's the most popular guy in the school, except for Vlad. Exactly. If anything happens, the teachers will rape us. Are you guys serious right now? You're just gonna leave your friend behind like that? Come on, Andrew. Let's go help him out while these pussies guard the volcano. I'm coming with you guys. Well, 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 look who decided to join. Why don't you bitches just buzz off? I'm busy talking to my girlfriend. Oh, really? Word around town is that she dumped you. Maybe you should go back to sitting with your football aides. Ha, ah, whatever. It's not like you losers do anything but sit around playing with food. Our food volcano is more impressive than your entire football career. Just buzz off, losers. Don't make me call Mr. Pingas on you chumps. Bro is really threatening to tell on us. How pathetic. Hey, shut up. 
So, Hillary, what do you think about coming to watch me play at the football game this weekend? What? So she can see you guys lose? Did you guys go 0 and 10 last season? Hey, shut up, you little twerp. I'm leaving. You guys ain't worth it. Come on, Hillary. Come with me or else I'm going to tell all of the football team that I got to second base with you. All right. Ha, ah, guess she still likes me. Sucks to suck, loser. What an absolute dickbag. Seriously, that guy is such a douche. I really wish I could be with Hillary. It just seems like it's never the right time. One day it seems like she kind of likes me, and the next day it's like she hates me. It's absolutely hopeless. Maybe you should be a baller and cut that bitch off. No, I could never do that. Me and Hillary are meant to be together. We have to be. I don't like any other girl, and they don't like me neither. Damn, I really hate seeing him down in the dumps like that. It's really depressing. What? Did you meet him yesterday? He's been obsessed with Hillary since third grade. This is nothing new. I really wish we could help him out, but it just seems hopeless. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we can help him out. Yeah, how? That guy has literally zero game with chicks. He's such a massive simp. There is always hope. Especially when you have the power of science and intellect on your side. Science and intellect? What do you mean, bro? Don't you guys remember that I make potions? Maybe I could make a potion for Hillary to fall in love with Joe. I thought those potions were for becoming cool. Yeah, and they always get us in trouble whenever you bring them to school. No, I'm not talking about the beers. I'm talking about an actual potion. Yes, I know it may seem impossible, but what if I told you that I could brew a potion to make Hillary instantly fall for Joe? Impossible. There's no way. Oh, but there is. Allow me to introduce the Lover's Serum. A special concoction made by yours truly. Anyone who drinks the drink will instantly see their greatest loving desire. Their greatest loving desire? What does that mean? It's simple. All we have to do is get Hillary and Joe together. Somewhere where they can be alone. After that, all Joe has to do is get Hillary to drink the special serum. Once she does that, she will instantly see Joe as her greatest desire. So you're telling me that if Hillary drinks the serum, that Joe will instantly become her biggest crush? No, not exactly. If Hillary drinks the serum, it'll make her think that Joe is the person who she has a crush on. Let me give you an example. Let's say Steve has a crush on Emily, and Emily has a crush on Brad. If Steve and Emily are alone together, once Emily takes the serum, she will literally believe that Steve is Brad. So essentially, we aren't going to make Hillary fall in love with Joe. Instead, we are going to turn Joe into whomever it is that Hillary has a crush on. At least from Hillary's point of view, that is. Ah, uh, I see. That is absolutely devious. Are you sure that would work? Oh, please. My knowledge of science and intellect far surpasses that of any high schooler. Remember the talent show when I turned you guys into rock stars? I'm sure it'll work. Yes, this is brilliant. And once Joe and Hillary start dating, we will instantly become way more popular. It's a win-win situation. Exactly. The only challenge will be for Hillary to go out with Joe so they can be alone. If we can do this, then our plan is sure to work. Hey guys, we have a problem. Um, yeah, we do have a problem. You fucking assholes made a giant mess over at the table. Maybe I should call down the principal and have him scream at you little gremlins so that you'll stop being assholes. Oh, Mr. Pingus, hello there. Did you guys know that there's a ton of starving children in California? I bet they would have loved to have eaten some food today. How wasteful of you. Yeah, seriously. Edna works all morning to cook for you little rats, just for you to turn it into a giant pile of shit. What the fuck even is that? Um, clearly it's a volcano. Grow a pair of eyeballs. All right, that's it. You five little shits are gonna be spending this evening in detention. God damn it, what's new? Well, I'm glad you asked, Kim. I just got off the phone with the principal of the kindergarten. Since you little asshats want to act like five-year-olds, you're gonna go to the after-school care program at the kindergarten for detention. What? Are you fucking serious right now? You're making us go to the kindergarten? Sir, I, I don't think that's appropriate. Maybe we should just have a normal detention. Seriously, Obamna? How many detentions have you guys had just this year? At least 30. Clearly normal detention doesn't work for you guys. 
That's right. Maybe you guys need a little bit of embarrassment and a lot more Adderall for you guys to finally finish your programming into the American education system. Bus leaves at three. I gotta give it to Mr. Pingus. This is certainly one of the most humiliating punishments he's ever given us. I don't get it. Why the hell am I even in here? I didn't do anything. After you ran away, Mr. Pingus and Edna gave us detention. And I guess they sort of just grandfathered you in as well. Um, I don't think that that's how you use that term. Whatever. We all have detention now. That's what matters. Oh, uh, hey there. Hey, look at duck on my head. You want me to tickle your head? No, I don't want any. Oh, uh, okay. Do you like pizza? Yeah, I like pizza. You like pizza? Yep. Slice, 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 slice. Hey, little man, this is already degrading enough. Can you just buzz off? Nope. Oh my god, this kid is so annoying. Shut up, Donald! You guys are gonna play with the fucking kids, and you're gonna like it! Here, have a slice. Oh my god, where the hell did you get that shit? Please get that away from my face. And I ate, I ate like the whole entire thing. Oh my god, this kid is gonna make me vomit. This is so weird and I'm super uncomfortable. Can we just go to a different room? Nope! You're gonna play with these little goblins while I go to the desk and eat my Arby's. This little kid's name is Noah. You're gonna be friends with him and play with him and do whatever the fuck he wants. Or else I'm gonna make sure that your next detention is in the high school. And believe me, that will be a lot worse. Hey, uh, Noah, do you know where the potty is? Yeah, but guess what? What? Yeah, yeah, my grandpa took pictures of the dinosaurs. Wow, uh, that's cool. A few moments later. Where the fuck is Joe? Have you seen Joe? He's in a lot of trouble for leaving the class without my permission. Yeah, it's all like- God damn it! I can see his shoes from under the stall. He's definitely in there. What the hell is he doing? Probably making fudge. God damn it. Well, even though you're like five years old, you're probably more responsible than this nimwit. Make sure he returns to the damn classroom when he's done. Oh, uh, my mom and my dad are, are like, aren't like a married, uh... Um, okay. Whatever, kid. A few moments later. Thanks, Noah. I feel much better. What? Come on, let's go. Oh my gosh, no way. It's Hillary. Oh, uh, no. No, don't worry, Noah. She's cool. I actually have a super big crush on her. I want her to be my girlfriend one day. No, I don't have a girlfriend. No, I'll never get a girlfriend. Really? You don't want a girlfriend? Well, I want one. But only if it's Hillary. And what did they do? They are so sweet and kind and make you not lonely. But I don't want one. That's okay, Noah. Hey, hang here for a second. I'm gonna go talk to Hillary. They don't do nothing. They spend their lives at home at the same home. Haha. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you come with me? Maybe you can help. Hey, Hillary. Oh, hey, Joe. What's up? Not much. I just got detention at the kindergarten today. What are you doing here? Oh. I actually volunteered to come down here and help out with the kindergartners. They are so cute, and I just love helping them with their homework and stuff like that. Haha, uh -huh. yeah, they're pretty fun. Haha, -huh. yeah, totally. So Yay! who is this little guy? I hurt my leg, like, a little bit. Haha, uh -huh. OMG, this kid is so cute. Haha, uh -huh, yeah, he's my new friend. His name is Noah. Oh my god, that's so adorable. Hey, Noah, you mind if we take a selfie together? No, I don't want any. Oh, come on. It'll just be real quick. I'm trying to build a more gentle side of myself on my social media. They said no flash photography. Oh my god, how cute. Uh-huh, yeah, totally. Yippee-ki! Big fail. So, um, Hillary, do you maybe want to go with me to the play this weekend? Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I really just said that. I can't believe I just said that. Hmm, you know what? Sure, Joe. I'd love to go to the play with you. Just don't tell my stupid ex-boyfriend, Damon. Really? Yes, this is great. I'll see you there, Hillary. Yes. Three days later. All right, Joe. Tonight's the big night. Just remember what I told you. Yes, I remember. I have two Coca-Colas. I drink the regular one, and I give the Christmas edition one to Hillary. That's right. Make sure she drinks the Christmas one. 
After that, once she sees you, you will instantly turn into her biggest crush. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Which one are you drinking? The Christmas one. No, Joe. You are going to drink the regular one. Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry, I just forgot for a second. Are you sure you'll be able to do this? No, yeah. I got it. I totally got it. All right, Joe. We're all rooting for you. So, it seems that Joe is going to try to make a move on Hillary tonight. Perhaps I shall grace the high school play with my grand presence and teach Joe that losers like him are meant to stay in their place. Three hours later. Hey, Hillary, what's up? Hey, Joe, how's it going? I'm doing great, even better now that you're here. You ready to go inside? Yeah, this should be a cool play. The high schoolers are recreating Beauty and the Beast to make it fit race and gender quotas. They made Belle a weak and docile black trans guy, and they made the Beast a girl boss. And of course, Gaston will still be a cisgender oppressing white male. This perfectly fits the current agenda of today's society and leaves no one out, and everyone is included for fairness and equality. No one will be offended at all. It's gonna be great. Uh, yeah, totally. Should be super fun. Oh my, I sure wish I had a big strong woman to come save me. I'm in danger. Don't worry, I am guest on. I am the embodiment of toxic masculinity. I am here to come save you from your troubles. With my white privilege, along with my inherent racism, we can go far together. Ew, no, I want someone else. You're gross and you're offending me. Hmm, I don't really remember the movie being like this. Of course not. The movie is offensive to many different genders and races. Oh, um, okay. Oh my, this play is just so wonderful. I just love all of the hard work that they did to make it more inclusive. Um, yeah, totally. Oh my, are you two kiddos on a little date? How wonderful is that? That is just so adorable. Yeah, well, I'm... Actually, we are just friends, haha. -ha. But yeah, this is going to be a great play. Oh uh, man, just friends? All right, it's going good so far. Looks like they are laughing and having a good time. Nice. Has he pulled out the potion yet? No, not yet. Man, I really hope he doesn't screw this up. What the hell is he doing? Why hasn't he given Hillary the potion yet? I think he's nervous. He's probably freaking out. God damn it, Joe. Wait, hang on. Some old bat is distracting him. You two are just so adorable. I remember back in my time when my dear sweet old Harold took me on a date to the theater. You remind me so much of him. I sure do miss my dear sweet old Harold. Uh, thanks. Yo, what is this bitch talking about? She trying to riz you up right now? God damn it, someone should go distract that old lady. I'm gonna call Donald. Hello? Yo, I don't know what's going on, but Joe isn't giving Hillary the potion. All right, that's it. I'm going down there. Halt! I sense a worthless loser who is once again trying to interfere with school politics. You guys really think you were so smooth trying to take Hillary from me, ha? Huh? Just you wait. Joe is totally about to kiss your girl. Yeah, right. You really think Hillary would kiss that little soy boy? As if. Just wait and see. They are totally going to kiss. Yeah, and how do you figure that? You really think your silly little potion is gonna work? What? How the hell do you know about the fucking potion? Oh, please. I am the coolest and smartest kid in the entire school district. Nothing escapes my grasp. You losers have absolutely zero chance of dating Hillary. Just give up. Crap, crap. I'm overhearing Donald's phone. Ben is over there with them, and he knows about the potion. What? How the hell does he know? No idea. Damon is over there, too. Something fishy is going on. Crap. We need to get down there and stop him. We have to abort the mission. Come on, let's go. Hey, Hillary, um, are you thirsty? Uh, yeah, I could go for a drink right now. You want to go to the snack bar? Oh, well, actually, I brought some Coca-Colas. Yes, really? Oh, my God, you're a lifesaver. Oh, my God, I could just kiss you right now. Really? <laughs> yeah, I brought some Cokes. <laughs> what? They're the same. I don't get it. How can this be? Which one has the potion inside of it? Come on, Joe, hand it over. I'm getting really thirsty. Oh, God. Oh, geez. Which one do I give her? They are the exact same. What do I do? Joe, come on. Give it here. 
Um, on second thought, I think these are expired. Maybe I'll just go to the snack bar and get some new ones. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Coca-Cola doesn't expire. Come on, just give it. Oh shit, he pulled out the Cokes. They're drinking them. What the hell did you do, Ben? Excuse me, I gotta get through. I have to go use the restroom. So, uh, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I think this play is just so wonderful. I'm so happy that I could come and experience this play with you. Yeah, totally. Um, hey, do you maybe want to kiss? Oh my, I'm so delighted that you would ask. I would love to share a kiss with you. Haha, <laughs> okay, let's do it. Wow, I'm speechless. That was amazing. It was everything I've ever dreamed of. Haha, <laughs> that's so sweet of you. You are such a good kisser. It reminds me of my dear, sweet old Harold. Yeah, it was... Wait, what? What are you talking about? You remind me so much of my dear, sweet old Harold. He was a great kisser, just like you, dear. Joe, what the fuck are you doing? Dude, what the hell? What the hell just happened? What the actual fuck? I think I'm gonna vomit. What do you mean? What's wrong? Excuse me, kiddos. You guys are ruining the show. Please find your seats and leave me and my date to be alone. What? Oh my god, no way, no way, no way, no way I just kissed that old ass lady. What the heck? Oh my god, what are you doing here? Can you please move so I can find my seat? This is the worst day ever. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was absolutely <laughs> that was disgusting. What the fuck did you do? Why did Joe just kiss that old lady? You guys are absolutely pathetic and retarded. You guys seriously trusted Joe to complete a task? The guy can't even make it to the restroom half the time. All I had to do was replace the regular Coke with another winter edition Coke. And then I just had to leave Joe to himself to screw it up. Wait, doesn't that mean there was a chance that he could have drunk the right one? Yeah, there was, but I had Trent and Russell ready to attack if that were to happen. Ha ha, yeah. Maybe next time you'll think twice before trying to steal my girlfriend. What a bunch of losers. Yeah, seriously, stupid-ass wimps. Well...